And welcome to everybody to this edition of uh, Star Frontiers Alpha Dawn and the Amiga, uh, sorry, Alpha Hawks, I should say, and the Amiga Dawn campaign. Um, we've been off air for quite a few weeks due to uh, external circumstances, but we're back uh, and everybody's keen and uh, looking forward to, uh, to playing in the game. Uh, the situation at the moment is the cr budget crew, as they call themselves, are currently on the capital, in the capital city of the capital planets of the frontier, Ganguava, uh, and uh, are looking for work. They have an appointment at uh, the uh, Cassidine Development Corporation's headquarters here in the uh, in the city, uh, and they're uh, been uh, suggested that they wear business formal for this particular meeting. Uh, they have no idea what the job is. Um, but uh, they're uh, apparently looking forward to it. So does anyone want to do anything uh, bef game-wise before your scheduled meeting? Well, we don't have money, uh, so I don't think so. Well, What's something our drug count? We use a lot of BioCourt, etc. Yeah, you may sure to replace a lot of the bio court, Matt. Yeah, I don't know, Doc. If you need more, let us know. I think we need. Well, there's always room for more, 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 more. Because so Cerise and Jazz both have money. So I'm how really much bio court? Short, but I have also picked up forty more bio court for my med kit. There you go. And Jazz has thirty nine on him. Okay, well, I'm currently showing zero BioCourt and zero NS. How okay, much do you well, want? How much can I take? <laughs> What's your weight? Right. 180? Oh, 85. Your, what, but whatever your strength is, that's how much you can carry. So if you look at your inventory. 45, yeah. So we can just tell us how much you how many credits you need for biocourt and anesthetic and we'll all chip in. Well, I'm only carrying stuff. I'm not carrying any weapons, so I'll take it all. Yeah, well, I don't know how much that is. How much do you want, Matt? Do you want 50 biocourt? Or 100? I'd say 100. That sounds good. 100 sounds good. Can you carry 100? <laughs> How much does a bio court weigh? Point 0.1. Uh, yeah, it, it, 10 to a kilo. So, yeah, 10 yeah. kilos worth of bio court is 100, 100 bio court. That's down in 10 kilos. Yeah, I think you can probably carry that. No problem. I think right, that's well, uh, 5 each, so that's 500. So, um,. 100 each, minus Doc doesn't have to chip in. Yeah, I can do yeah. that. Yeah, that's fine. That's Volk, it. you need money? Yeah, I, I, you, you take care of that. I don't okay, have I'll just add it to I'm your I'm a new guy. FNG, baby. And we've got no anesthetics and uh, four new trad. In other words, you want to you wanna try and uh, fill out your, uh, your chemical, your medical chemical list I think it's in everyone's best in. interest no yep. I, I, like again I, how much I'm, do you want I'm agreeing yes please yeah just tell us well, how much you on, how much why don't you just get a med kit for him doesn't he have one yes I've got to be replenished but the med kit yeah, is only it. nine anesthetic and 15 biocourt and 10 nutrad we we use 66 on the last biocourt yeah. 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 Well, again, just come up. Well, what do you think, Doc? What do you think is a reasonable amount? What, are, you know, what do you think is a reasonable amount? I think the reasonable amount would be to replenish the neutral, the, the 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 radiation neutralizer back up to ten, and maybe twenty twenty five anesthetic. That should cover you because you use more than one biocourt per surgery. Is it one anesthetic okay. per surgery, no matter whether it's yeah. major or minor? Yes, that's right. Yeah. 
25 sounds like a good amount. I agree. I'd say um, whatever we use, double it. Well, I mean, <laughs> if you're... Because if you have 25 anesthetics, you might as well just carry, like, a, a like an aluminum cylinder tank of it. So, you know, if you yeah, do no. ever run out, you can just smack them in the head with <laughs> Yeah. Um, How about a know, wheelbarrow? Yeah. <laughs> Very funny, guys. Come on. Okay, so 100 BioCore, 25 anesthetic, and 10 Nutrad. Okay, if that's what you need. And by and, and by the way, a, a med kit is it consists of more than just the drugs. There are implements, all sorts of things in there as well. Okay. Yeah, th yeah. There's a there's actually a, a an inventory line for replenish med kit, isn't there? Much I like there's a replenish. I, I think. There may be. I can't remember. I think at least for the technician's kit, there's like a general pay a hundred dollars when you feel like you've used up on all the consumables inside of it. I don't yeah, know whether the, the med, med kit's kit, the same. Yeah. No, I think the med kit's different because we actually specify out the different drugs. Yeah. Yeah, true. Yep. All right. Um, so I think that's different on that one. Um, but yeah. Uh, is games.matthewjack.gay.black No, uh, the website's down. The website's down. Okay, okay, cool. I was looking for info and I couldn't find it. No, no, the website's down. It. Okay, cool. I haven't had it. With, all, with all the stuff going on with my health, uh, I haven't had a chance to rebuild it. Yep, no, that's completely understandable. I was just making sure that it wasn't me. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, I, I concentrated on the stuff I use more often, like the, the my, my main um, code library, for example. Yep. Yeah, well, good. Um, got it. Got it back first. No, it, it's on the list to go. I just haven't done it yet. Yes, thanks for keeping us alive, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, any other shopping you want to do while we while we're here? Uh, I don't think so. I'd like a new skin suit. Oh. Can you afford one? I have zero. Yeah. So the answer is no, you cannot afford one. Uh, right, nothing it, else? Is, no, is it assumed uh, that we probably have some business formal gear around, or should we be going out and purchasing that? As a matter of game realism. Well, well, it's one of those. It's it's probably it's, it's now you probably got something, something decent, yeah. Um, for, so, no, I'd say I'd say I say well, you can safely assume you have it. You have some. Okay, cool. Because we just lost a lot of gear. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but you, yeah, but you wouldn't have taken you wouldn't have taken that type of gear with you, would you? No, that's true. Yeah, we would have. That's left the type it, yeah. of stuff you would have left behind. Yeah, in Babu's going to leave his spear behind. Yeah, funny <laughs> that. Four sacks. In fact, in fact, technically, I yeah, you probably should leave all your weapons behind. Yeah, this is civil. This is this is this is height the height of frontier civilization. Yeah. Cat feels like she can probably get away with her needle or pistol on her slide arm up her sleeve. Okay, if you really want. <laughs> yeah, I can't really conceal any weapon. Not not very good at that. No. Well, put it this way, I'm I'm going to assume you're unarmed unless you tell me otherwise. Okay. Aye. So. Does Cat feel like she, she can get away with her needle or pistol up her sleeve? I don't know. Do you? I, I, I would hope so. She'll, she'll try. She'll try, okay. <laughs> now, what about defense screens? Are they obvious? Yes, they're obvious. Okay. And again, you're in the middle of downtown. Yeah, you're in the middle. 
I don't know how, how. Is it New York City or is it? I think the Wild what Matt West? is trying to say is that nobody else around here has weapons. No, well, no, it's not quite true. The cops do. Yeah, but okay. no one yeah, else is carrying weapons besides too. law enforcement. Yes, no one else. That's right. It's New York or L.A. or Sydney or London. <laughs> I love how we more play this like a dystopian, like Shadowrun-esque thing where yes, we're no, always not... going to get murdered. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, dear. Well, no, you play that because... That's what's happened everywhere we go. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, but you've never got. You've always gone to to the frontier frontier uh, planets. You've never been in the ma in the capital, have you? Apart from when you got attacked by the worm, but that's beside the point. But that that was uh, yeah. before, yeah. Maybe if we exactly. weren't set up to feel this way by getting attacked in the very first game, maybe we'd be a bit, a little bit less paranoid. Oh, bitch, 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 moan, 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 <laughs> whinge, whinge, whinge. <laughs> 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 All right, so as I understand yeah. it, nobody's armed except for Cat, who's got a needle twister on her on her um, wrist now. Is that right? Uh, can Jazz get away with a uh, knife? I think he's got a, a knife somewhere. Yeah, where's he going to put it though? In his clothes, in his uh, boot. A boot knife. All right, if you really want to take a boot knife, I don't. I don't have a problem with it. I don't have a problem with it. The CDC might, but I don't. Well, if they, if security, if we have to go through a security check, we will be good and we'll turn them over. Mm. Anyway, but no, uh, skin. There are no, there are no, uh, no skin suits in in evidence. No military skin suits in evidence, and no civilian skin suits in evidence. Although the skin suits, the civilian skin suits might actually be disguised as suits. So yeah, there might be a few of those around, but yeah. So two thirty rolls around. Um, you, uh, you 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 go to the Cassidyne Development Corporation headquarters built uh, uh, local headquarters building. Um, the entire ground floor is glass walls and glass doors. There is um, a uh, a large uh, it's a large open uh, not marble but but granite floor um, scattered with with rugs. Uh, there's a, a lift bank uh, in the middle and in front of the lift bank there is a receptionist desk. Uh, behind the receptionist desk is a brusque female uh, with a boom mic and earpiece. Uh, she seems to be answering communications. Um, I'm assuming you, got, you are going to walk up to her and let them know you're here for your, for your 2.30 meeting. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, she, uh, she, you have to wait uh, only a, a, a few seconds while she finishes up her call, and she looks up at you and, and smiles, beams really, and says, uh, and, and says, clicks. How can I help you in standard Pangal? We have an appointment at two thirty with. I don't know who it is. You don't know who it is, Mr. Johnson. No, oh, we're, were we never given a name? You're never given a name, and we're not playing Shadowrun. <laughs> now, we have a 2.30 <laughs> appointment. Yeah. Uh, yes, 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 you are expected. Um, if you'd just uh, like to take a seat, and she indicates over to her right where a, a bunch of pot plants and planters, planter rows, have uh, semi-fenced uh, semi off a, uh, an area with some uh, very what appear to be very comfortable couches. Um, someone will be along to collect you shortly, she says. Do they have any fountains? No fountains, no, no. No, oh. it's just planter and planter boxes. Um, and the foliage is, is reasonably lush. Um, it doesn't provide much privacy, but it does sort of demarcate this, this area. All right, we'll go over uh, there and wait. Okay. Uh, the chairs are reasonably comfortable. Um, there's a uh, there, there's a low table uh, in between the, the lounges. Uh, on on the low table, there are a number of magazines, um, paper magazines, old-fashioned magazines, uh, not the new, not electronic ones. Um, and they're all to do with the Cassidyne Development Corporation. Um, do you have any information on that through my finances or political? Uh, uh, 
Well, well the CDC the CDC is one of the mega corps of the frontier. Um, they're not the biggest, um, but they're not even the, in the top three. But they're re they're a reasonable size. Um, they uh, they specialise. Uh, usually, I'd pull up the web page and read you the web page, but the website's down. Um, they uh, they uh, are a, are a conglomerate of um, of, of uh, entities. Uh, they um, they've got a bit of a reputation for betting on long shots. Um, you know, uh, which generally have come off for them. Um, but uh, they do um, they do sorry they uh, that they do uh, a, a number of different things uh, manufacturing um, uh, exploration um, all sorts of things um, uh, mining of, of asteroids things like that uh, generally what happens though is by the the uh, um, they usually go in, go in, um, do a, a quick survey, mining things like that, and then get out and then sell the information to either Pan Galactic or um, Streel um, or one or somebody else. Um, but yeah, they're 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 not a bad little um, little outfit being a megacorp. <laughs> do they seem to get um, along or? Do they have do they have a positive or negative relationship with Streel at least publicly? Uh, publicly, it's 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 neutral to 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 lukewarm. Uh, privately, they're not the friendliest of individuals. Um, but there's no outright there's no outright conflict or war between them. Um, they're closer to Pangal okay. than they are Streel, uh, but they will they, they will work with both. Um, Streel, let's face it. Streel, Streel aggressively tries to be number number one, and so anyone who who gets in their way um, tends to tends to become, you know, uh, at least for the, the short term, um, somebody to, to brush aside and, and crush under their thumb. Um, Basically, they become but, number two. Yeah, yeah, but uh, but pink elves have been known to do the same thing as well, but they're a little bit more circumspect about it. They're not they're not as blatantly open. Uh, but I mean, CDC, like the other smaller megacorps, have survived because they're big enough to survive. Um, so yeah, but I mean, Galactic Task Force is a megacorp, um, a small one, specialised one. They specialise in, you know, employment services. Um, but uh, CDC tends to have a lot, have a, have a lot of fingers in a lot of different pies. Um, but yeah, you know, it's it's not. One or two, or even three, in all in any of those, but they're doing all right. Folks will just read the paper magazines and see if anything is interesting in there. If they have any new uh, steam bath models, that would be nice. <laughs> you and your steam bath models. Um, the yeah, uh, I'm you only interested in that. Yeah. yeah. You only wait for about three or four minutes, although it seems longer. Uh, when um, a human female. Uh, Based on her clothing, she's either a, a personal assistant or a, a junior executive um, approaches the sitting area where you are. Um, ladies and gentlemen, if you care to follow me, I'll take you to your meeting. Okay, and she will follow. Yep, we go. Cerise will give her, give her a couple of clicks at In her gender way? pronoun. Hey, uh, you lost me. Uh, Sorry, Dean. I will give her a couple of clicks of distaste at her use of gender pronoun. What, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, I thought you just said gentlemen. No, I said ladies oh, and no, gentlemen. Oh, she did say ladies. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. Well, I thought um, um, so she I take offense to that statement. No, oh, go away. She leads you around. The... <laughs> I am an the it. The isn't wearing any pants, actually. I classify as an it. Okay, you, the uh, the uh, she leads you around into the uh, lift um, lift columns uh, where uh, there's a, a, a individual um, who has uh, has uh, been holding a, a, the lift for her 
Um, so uh, she uh, waves you into the lift and then follows you in. There is the distinct sensation of acceleration, um, and uh, which, which goes on for quite a long time actually, uh, before the lift uh, abruptly slows and uh, the door opens. The doors open with a ding. Uh, was it an up, of upward or motion up or a downward motion? Sorry, it was an upward motion. Sorry. She was Can we there. tell how, if we went? Were there? I mean, were there numbers? Or no. a scale or anything? No, no numbers at all on this one. Um, so the doors open up onto a, a corridor, uh, a foyer area, um, richly decorated with um, artwork, uh, both 2D and 3D. Um, and as you step out onto the lift, your feet actually sink a good inch or so into the very plush, deep, dark brown carpeting. Um, the uh, the young lady leads you towards a set of glass doors in a glass wall. Uh, there are curtains on the far side of the glass wall, uh, and she opens up a set the uh, set of double glass doors and then steps to one side and says, "Please take a seat." The room itself, again, is carpeted with this obscenely plush, um, very tasteful carpet. Uh, the far wall is an entire vista of glass from floor to ceiling. And the view beyond is, the, no the, 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 the only way to describe it is simply magnificent. You're looking out over the city of Grand Guilvin. Um, you estimate you're 150 plus stories up. Uh, in the far distance, you can even see shuttles taking off and landing at the starport. It is simply a magnificent view. It really is. There is a long uh, conference table uh, m in the middle of the room made of what appears to be real wood. Dark, red, almost black wood, polished to almost a, a, a mirror a mirror finish. Uh, there are power seats um, around the table and a an old-fashioned A4 size pad of paper and ink fountain pen uh, at each uh, seat, at each place. There are two carafes uh, with what you suspect is ice water surrounded, uh, surrounded by eight glasses each um, equally distanced along the table. And uh, at the far end of the room to your left when you come in uh, there is um, a small hollow stage the lighting is subtle and indirect, but there is a focused light on each place, seat place around the table. Uh, there are appropriate seats for Frusk and Dralocyte, as well as uh, standard um, seats used by humans and um, Yazirian. What are you doing? Spread out and take a seat. Yeah, I'd stand behind my seat. I'll Drink pour myself a glass of water. Yeah, exactly, water. Yes, it is water in the crafts. The uh, the crafts are actually sweating. It's uh, um, cold enough, the cold, nice cold water. Um, as you uh, move into the room and go to take your seats, um, the uh, the the woman says, um, "Your your 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 meeting will start shortly," and uh, moves out of the room, closing the doors behind her. I suspect we are at the top of the food chain. Yeah, look, it's <laughs> this is very much how the other half live. Yeah, the how do the other half live like this? This, yeah, this is luxury. Um, um, yeah, the, the the a real wood, a real redwood table like this. Um, yeah. Oh, by the way, for those of you who sit, uh, for those of you who sit, who sit, who take, who do take a seat, um, there's a, a, a moment of 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 um, 
disconcert disconcertation, shall we say, as the seats actually adjust themselves um, automatically to your body shape uh, and ma maximum comfort level. Um, you know. No, very good. Very, very good. Not bad at all. Um, you know. No, no. Doc wants to carve his initials in the table. Oh, God, no. I missed that part. <laughs> yeah, very bad, Doc. <laughs> I can't help it. I just, I've got a scalpel. And... Um, so, yes, look, you know, um, this is obviously one of the senior executive meeting rooms um, on one of the senior executive floors. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, I mean even the walls are panelled in, you know, the walls that aren't glass are panelled in real mahogany. Um, you know? Um. Yeah, we just sit down and wait, drink some mm -hmm. nice water. Yeah. So after a, uh, after a couple of moments, um, the hollow, uh, the, the hollow stage um, lights up. Um, there is a slightly overweight and balding human uh, dressed in an incredibly fine suit. Um, those of you with any business knowledge or, or who had been flipping through the flipping through the magazines recognize Carl Wichita, Wichita the CEO. Um, of the Cassidyne Development Corporation. Uh, he used to be a, a daring adventurer before he turned his uh, talents to running the multi-million credit corporation. Uh, so he's the CEO and chairman of the board. Uh, he begins to speak. I am sure you are all curious about your mission with the Cassidyne Development Corporation. Uh, I understand also uh, you may be looking to, uh, how do I put this delicately, get out of town quickly and quietly. Uh, this suits the CDC extremely well, uh, assuming of course that we choose to uh, do business together. Um, we, you have a reputation for being extremely good at your jobs. <laughs> well, you do have a reputation. <laughs> Actually, you do have a reputation for being extremely good at your jobs. You really do. So, so we're hoping uh, you'll be able to use your talents uh, to help us. Are you interested at, at, this, at this stage? Babu takes a seat, yes, it's interesting. Well, you haven't told us much, but so far, so good. We're going in the right direction, off planet. <laughs> yes, yes, possibly you are. As you know, CDC tries to develop star routes to undiscovered worlds, then exploit the wealth of those worlds before larger corporations can move in and take over. Ideally, we have moved on to other arenas, before our chief competitors, the Pan Galactic Corporation and the Steel Corporation, move in to begin their wholesale operations. You do not know that CDC located one of the richest deposits of heavy metals in the known galaxy on Alcazar, in the Rihanna system. We have been mining there secretly for the past two standard years. Last week, however, communications with our Alcazar compound suddenly ceased. At the same time, remote survey satellite transmissions indicated the presence of another settlement on Alcazar. Your first mission objective, sorry, I went blank. Your first mission objective is, a very, is very straightforward. Go to Alcazar and determine what happened to our outpost and the staff of 12 that were there. Rescue the staff if possible. 
If foul play is involved, you will have a second mission objective. Learn who is responsible. If, as we, are, as we suspect, a rival corporation is interfering in our operations, you must contact us via subspace radio and identify the culprit. Then, while we verbally make our commitment on Alcazar clear to the foe, you must strike back at their operations, terminating it if at all possible. Needless to say, you will be in a position of high risk. Let me assure you that, should we emerge victorious, all of you will be very, very well taken care of. Furthermore, Alcazar has much potential and will eventually develop. Skilled individuals with knowledge of the planet will be in commanding positions. I'm sure such things begin to come clear now including the high rate of pay for this job. You should understand now why we gather this team of skilled and experienced agents. This will not be the first time any of you have participated in conflict on an outpost world. You all know the UPF generally turns its back on these little wars, leaving private concerns to settle them in their own way. We at CDC try to avoid outright hostility, but the wealth on Alcazar and the likelihood of an attack on our staff warrant this kind of mission. Suddenly, the image Hang on a sec. Ah, 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 ah. There we go. Oops, don't worry about that. There we go. Suddenly, uh, where was I? The image of a planet, bright against the blackness of space, replaces the chairman. A voice begins to narrate. Alcazar's climate and seasonal changes are very unusual because the planet does not rotate as it orbits its star. Thus, all areas of the planet, except both polar caps, pass from a long summer during which the star nearly dro sorry, drops which during which the star never drops below the horizon, to an equally long winter where the star is never seen. The largest of two continents circles the globe, separating two large oceans, one in the north and one in the south. Many lakes and rivers break up both continents. The terrain varies from steep stone mountains to vast plains and forests. The narrator pauses and the images expands until a hemisphere of green is visible opposite a cloak of ice, as you see here. As details become clearer, you see a pleasant expanse of plains and forests similar to the l huge parks of Triad. The narrator continues. Lush grasses cover the plains, which, is, which in lower areas turns to boggy marshes. The large trees do not shed their needles at any time during the year. During the day, which is the summer, the sun, Rihanna, is always visible from the temperate zone, providing constant illumination. Most clouds remain over the ice in the night, or winter region. Thousands of clear brooks and streams running from mountains and glaciers keep the summer region well watered despite an almost total lack of rain. The image of Alcazar expands even more, revealing a narrow, spe revealing a narrow stretch of plains. Here we go. Uh, revealing another, a narrow stretch of plains and forests between a rugged mountain range and Alcazar's Great Sea, the Southern Ocean. A light blinks at the mouth of a mountain valley. Got to find it myself now. Hang on. Lost it. There it is. I think there's one there and the other one's over here. Okay, got those? I don't see them. Oh, I see one now. That one there, yeah, thank yeah, you. Okay. The other one, yeah. Cool. Right. Leave the arrows up, please. Um, 
the light indicates the location that's the one on the right by the way the purple one my well, the purple arrow uh, the light indicates the location of our compound which was built over a tremendous deposit of gold and other heavy metals another light blinks at the mouth of a valley about 120 kilometers away that's the one with the red arrow the second light locate the second light marks the location of the new settlement discovered by satellite the new settlement is on one of our first test sites a potentially richer Sorry, a potentially rich mineral deposit. Puss, I can't read past. My cat just jumped up on my table. Sorry. We're babysitting <laughs> my sister's cat. She just jumped up on the table and she's sitting in front of me so I can't see what I'm trying to read. Rotten animal. Catapult. Yes, all right. Yeah, catapult. Disadvantage. Mm. Nothing is known about creatures, if any, that live on the ice fields. The environmental... The CDC Twilight Moon Expedition's environmentalist reported that many types ha many types of animals exist in the summer region however most of these types are mammals the rest an assortment of harmless insects of the mammals only three are large enough to conceivably affect your mission now do i have images of these uh, no but i'll get them for you um uh, only three are conceivably affected. The guar, a large shambling omnivore known to inhabit the hilly and mountainous regions. The sky shrike, a medium sized carnivore that flies in huge um, soaring packs. And the lakura, a primate, a primate and some, uh, with some intelligence and a noted tendency towards pranks. Uh, more trivid images appear, and I'll get the actual images for you um, in a moment. In a moment. First, a stocky quadruped covers, covered with coarse black hair is shown towering over an explorer. Uh, the Goliath could have crushed the vehicle without difficulty. Next, a flight of sky shrikes. Dog-like creatures with huge leathery wings seem to soar through the briefing room. Finally, a liqueur, a little creature that is almost comical after the other two blinks into sight, looking much like a small Yuzerian. It tilts its head quizzically and then scampers away on all four feet. The lights come back up a bit as the images fade out. There is a security robot has just entered the room and it hands the closest one of you a system brief, an equipment list and two maps. The robot, in its voice, informs you that, as is standard procedure on outpost worlds, the CDC compound, compound contains a cache of heavy weapons. The weapons are underground, below the very centre of the maintenance garage. The robot will answer questions. No, sorry, the robot will answer questions for 15 minutes. Okay, then uh, you will board um, a ship. Uh, that will take you lift off in two hours to take you to your mission with Alcazar. So has Carl disappeared? Yeah, Carl's disappeared. Yeah, the whole the whole hollow deck's um, faded down. Hmm. Do we have that list of equipment? And do we get the access codes to the uh, heavy weapons cache under the uh, compound garage? Yes. And also a list of the various personnel and what they're trained for and etc. No, uh, they're geologists, robot specialists, computer specialists, um, environmentalists, yeah, people like that, Med uh, medical officer. So no security? No security. So, and of course, um, a map of the facility, all security codes, computer codes, that type no. of stuff. No, you're given what you're given. Wait, so we, do we get equi this list of equipment every, each party member yeah. receives? Oh. That's what you get. Like, okay, not when we get there, though, but here. Uh, it will be waiting. When we yeah, get well, when you let us know which what you want, it'll, they'll be waiting on ship for you. Ah, okay. Are there any pants on that list? I could use some pants. I'll give you pants. 
Uh, what about vehicles? Uh, there are vehicles at the comp at the at the CDC compound. Does the robot know what the vehicles are? Uh, there's at least one explorer. Uh, jet copter? No. Nope. Does the robot know what security protocols are? What in security devices and protocols are at the facility? There apparently are. Uh, there's a number of robots. Uh, there's at least one security robot on that, he, that, that, this, that this security robot is aware of. Is there a way that we can identify ourselves positively to that robot? Nope. Who's the leader of the mission? Uh, a scientist by the name of um, uh, Gajgit Noel. Gajgit Noel. No, Kaskit. Kaskit Noel. Uh, he's a uh, he's a geo a geophysicist. Hmm. So you're given the two maps, that equipment list. Um. Uh, yep. Oh, and the uh, the uh, report. Uh, what have I done with the report? I do have the report somewhere. Uh, what did I do with it? What did I do with it? I just hope that his uh, expectations on handsomely rewarded are equivalent to our expectations. Well, you're getting paid twice the standard rate. Oh, so they told us that? Yeah, you. To sorry. Um, yeah, you were told that last uh, when the GTF contacted you. And oh my God! You've got mail. You bastards! Oh my <laughs> God! You've got mail. <laughs> you bastards! Yeah. Um, I just found the. I just found the report. Hang on. Somebody forgot to mute their Chronicom. No, yes, I'm going to mute Chronicom. I thought that was us yeah. being excited about the double pay. Do we get paid for transit time? Yes, you do. It just gets better and better, doesn't it? Yeah. Too good to be true. <laughs> Too good to be true. <laughs> well, yeah, it is. A, it is a. It is a high risk. It is a high risk. It is a high risk of mission. Well, I'm more interested. Time, there's no such thing as a milk run. <laughs> yeah. So I the cache of the heavy weapons was directly under the maintenance shaft in the central garage. Yeah. Under the middle of the maintenance garage, yes. Uh, gentlemen, the I just emailed everybody the uh, the background report. On Rihanna and Alcatraz, okay. And are there? Is it possible to make our own claims on this on this planet? No, 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 no. Sorry, no. The uh, whole planet. Not the whole that planet top of the food chain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know that hey, top of the food chain. Claim is a claim. <laughs> yeah, no. The whole planet's been claimed by the CDC. Just not for not not um, not uh, not uh, publicly. It's on the qu on the QT. But yes. Anyway, Could you any enforce questions? your claim. <laughs> this is what they're doing now. They're enforcing the claim. That's what you guys are being hired to do. Right, right. But I'm talking about if we made one of our own. Do you really want to piss off a megacorp? <laughs> no, I'm j I'm pointing it out. Yeah, it's just a question. I mean, they're you know, just because someone claims something doesn't mean they get to keep it. I just thought I'd ask. Yeah, but if it's keeping it between you lot keeping it and the CDC, I. Or any megacorp, I'd bet my money on the megacorp. No, this will be good to have a nice end with the CDC. Yes, assuming we survive through it. Yeah, if you're successful. Now, listen, I need to I need to ask you some some logistical questions, gentlemen. Uh, where are the where are the pay rates? What have I done with the pay rates? 
They're on the website. Ha, ha, ha. Yes, I know they're there. No, I know they're on the website. Ha, ha, very funny. Might help if I opened up the right file, wouldn't it? Here we go. Now, this whole... Go, yeah, yeah, go for it. Uh, I'm actually looking up as a uh, as a player. 20% oxygen, is that low? Hey, sorry again? I'm looking at the uh, atmosphere of this planet. Oh, uh, uh, no, no, well, Earth's got 24%, 23%. Okay, cool. So it's not too different. Yep, cool. Not too Low different. gravity. Um, top of Everest. Top of Everest it gets down to around about 15, I think. Uh, just to give you a... Just to give you a... Um, yeah, we're good. Real, Do we know quick, how long uh, until winter hits either location? Uh, you should have plenty. Of, you should have plenty of days. More, more time than you need. Okay. So the pay is the same whether we find no. the team or not. Yeah, it is. But you know, if you talk, if, if you want to start, I mean, you got the impression that, that there would be bonuses available if you guys did a good a good job um, and succeeded at succeeded at your objectives. You know, so yes, you're getting paid anything. You're getting paid anyway. But you, but if you want to get paid more, so you save the team. Yeah. Babu, what is your highest skill? Are we talking within the uh, poly social or your highest skill? I just want to know your, yeah, like, your highest skill. You get paid based upon your highest skill level. Psycho communications at 75. No, what no, no, like level three, level four. Level three. Level three is your highest, uh, and that's a psycho. Yep. Uh, and that's a hundred. And how many? Uh, how many other skills do you have? How many other skill levels do you have? Uh, politics one, haggling two, and finance one. So that's another four. I uh, have, so, I think, yeah, melee weapons one and thrown weapons one. So that's another, so that's another six. The so NSAs that's count. Oh, NSAs count. All skills, all okay. skills count. So that would be what I have. All right, Cerise, what's your highest skill, please? Oh, and bluff. One level. At what level? One. Level what? One. Yep. Right, Cerise, what's yours, please? Technician four, and then three other skill Ooh. levels. Oh, tech four, tech four, technician four, and three other and three other skill levels. Is that right? Yeah, robotics two, gyro one. Yes. Robo robotics two and gyro one, and that's all your skills. Okay. Yes. Jazz. I've put lots into stats. Yeah, no, uh, uh, give yeah, me a minute. Fine. Ask somebody else. Cat. All right. Uh, she has computer four. Computer uh, four. Engin Hang on. Yep. Uh, engineer one, geophysics one, and projectile two. So you got another four skills as well. Is that it. Uh, and melee weapons one. Okay. Is that anything else? No, that's it. Doc, what about you? Med three. Uh, yeah, medic three is your highest. So chem one. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, slow down. Med three, chem one, yep. Yeah. And 
Uh, thrown weapons, one. Okay. Boke? Uh, engineer three. Engineering three. Technician. Uh, right. And, uh, was it automatic weapons one? Okay. Anything else? Nope. Jazz? Uh, beam weapons four and ten other skill point levels. Wow. Beam weapons. Beam weapons. You got lots beam of level weapons. ones in military stuff. That's all right. Beam weapons four and lots of others. You said ten others. Ten wow. others. Wow. Ja jazz and jazz and uh, jazz and Babu are the most highly paid. And I'm probably the poorest paid, huh? Uh, you and Doc and Cerise. And then we secretly find out that Thomas min max for pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you got paid for your secondary skills. Yeah, they're only worth they're only worth ten credits a day each. But I mean, if you're getting paid double. Yeah. All right. Babu? Yep. You're getting 340 credits a day. Gross. Before taxes and, and charges. Cerise? 340, you're getting you two, 340. I've got it listed here. It's, it's on the. Hang on. Uh, here we go. Okay. Interesting. That's a pretty big pay difference. Holy moly. Well, that's your skill levels, guys. Holy moly, okay. Yep. Well, we know oh. who's replenishing the bio cart next time. That's well, okay, uh, Babu's the one getting shot. <laughs> Jazz is the one shooting us. <laughs> Jazz, is, uh, Jazz, isn't, Jazz isn't getting paid much for... Jazz is, uh, Jazz is not getting paid much. Hang on. Where is it? Shouldn't have closed it down. Yeah, military gets paid the least, but he's but got he has so many so other many... skills. Yeah, yeah, he's got so many skills. He's, he's objective. are so low. Yeah, whereas uh, the computer operator uh, is not getting. Yeah, he's getting a decent amount. Um, the uh, but the biggest the the psychosocialist is getting the most uh, for raw raw talent. Yeah, he sure he had a good sure. Had a good talk with the helium. Well, Try to bring it up, don't you? Remember, remember, you're such a great talker. Remember when the heliops were upset at us for, you know, stealing the tank? Dear, oh dear. Great talker. Great talker. Okay, so um, everyone's got their equi everyone's got their equipment list. Um. You need to let you, you need to mark on your sheet your rifle and the pistol and the skin suit and you know all the bits and pieces, please, on your on your character sheet from that from that personal equipment list. And then you need to work out who's carrying what on the party equipment. And then you need to also include the stuff you want to take that you've got in storage. Yep. Okay. Um, okay. Do we ha do you have enough of the stuff listed on in the items in Fantasy Grounds? No, not all of them. I've got a lot of them, but not all of them. I don't think they could be there. Check it. See, have a look. Have a go, look. Pull them up and have a look. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. I've got the standard ones. If you used, if you used something before, it should be there. And I'm you just can take of the a SEU, secondary weapon. You can take the SEU as either um, as either belt belt packs, backpacks, or um, or um, 
uh, clips. It's up to you. So two hundred rounds obviously doesn't mean two hundred clips. It's no, it means two hundred rounds. Ten clips. Yeah. Uh, yeah, ten clips. Well, it depends. It's, it's usually twenty clips per. It's usually twenty rounds per clip. Yeah. Yeah. Are yeah. We, um, are we like landing on planet and we're gonna have a vehicle to go there, or are we landing on planet and walk? You're landing on planet near the uh, near the near the base and walking to the base. Should be no more than a click. Uh, the second the, the uh, and there's vehicles at the at the compound. You you as you as CDC representatives and agents are allowed to um, allowed to. Um, uh, commandeer any equipment, CDC equipment on the planet, yeah, uh, with it, with the permission of anyone using it, of course. Um, the skin suits, by the way, uh, ha each have a um, breast a breast badge, a CDC breast badge logo on the. So left wear breast, those, guys. Breast. Hey, wear those, gentlemen. The, the, badges, skin suit. Wait, the badges are on what? The on skin, the skin suits. suits. Oh, okay. That may be what keeps the robots from firing at us. Therese is very optimistic that we're not going to be shot to pieces before we meet these robots. <laughs> and changing skin suits before we this happens. Well, you can you <laughs> can <laughs> keep it in Cut. you can keep it in your bag until we need it. Until we get to Cut the base. The, Cut the badge off and, and quickly sell it to the next skin suit if you need to. <laughs> All right. Uh, yep, I'm going to just do some inventory for angling. Make sure this is all honest. All right. What um, besides the gyrojet rifle and the laser rifle, what other types of rifles are there? Is there a sonic? There's a sonic rifle. This. Yeah, that's right. I know. Hang on. Is it, uh, is it Sonic are... Devastator? Hang on, let me find the equipment list in the book. I've got the book in front of me. Cause the, way, the Devastator uh, is the rifle, the stunner is the pistol. Yep. As far as sonic things go. Yep. Uh, the Electra stunner is a pistol. Uh, you've got the laser rifle, laser pistol. Sonic disruptor and sonic stunner, rifle and pistol respectively. Uh, the heavy laser is not a rifle, the heavy laser is a heavy laser. And the sonic devastator actually uh, technically is a crew mounted weapon as well. So it's not a rifle okay. either. Uh, you've got an automatic disruptor. rifle. It's a disruptor, is what you're looking for. At the that's the right. That's the pistol. The disruptor is the pistol version. You've got an automatic rifle, an automatic pistol, needler rifle, and needler pistol. And again, the machine gun and the recoilless rifle are crew mount weapons. You've got the gyrojet rifle and pistol. Uh, you've got a grenade rifle, which technically is a rifle. Uh, the grenade mortar and the rocket launcher, which are crew are crew weapons. Does that answer your question? Uh, which was this, the sonic rifle again? Sonic. Uh, the sonic stun is a rifle. No, sonic stun oh, is a pistol. Disruptor. Yeah. The disruptor. Well, the disruptor is technically a crew weapon. That's the devastator. Sorry. Oh, yeah, it is too. Sorry, the disruptor is a rifle. That's right. The, the disruptor is the rifle. I will take... Um... Well, I can either take Needler or Sonic as my secondary weapons. Do you guys care? What, what we need? We need diversity. Cat already has a Needler rifle and an automatic rifle, so you probably want to take the Sonic. That's a beam weapon, but yeah. I mean, do you want to take the grenade rifle, or is the I already have launcher? One. Yeah. Okay. Good. That's my primary. I have an over-under gyrojet rifle grenade launcher. Yeah, okay. I mean, I think I, I, I'm probably good. I won't even take a rifle and a pistol because I don't think I could roleplay my computer nerd being way over capacity if she was going to take three rifles and two pistols. Along with well, you may, as well, well you, you may as well take them and put them in storage. They're yeah. being given to you. Yeah, it's a couple hundred credits. Yeah, all right. Yep, yeah, that's sorry, my methodology for the weapons. I'm taking the most valuable one. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I'm not using it, so I might as well just... Ah, Doc, our pacifist. Which is the most expensive weapon, by the way? I don't know, hang on. When it says 100 SEU for each energy using device, uh, isn't a belt pack like 50 SEU? Yeah. So that would, yeah. would that be a backpack or two belt, belt packs? Or 10, or 10, S, uh, 10 clips if you really want it. You can take the energy can, as you like. I'll take two. Can, well, what is the is a backpack off, like two hundred units? A backpack. Is it hundred? Okay, then I'll take it. Then I'll have a backpack. Uh, no, a screen cannot be run off clips. Yeah. Um, Most expensive is there a Sonic screen. Yeah, there is a Sonic screen. The sonic screen's a real pain in the ass because it constantly draws power and you can't communicate with the outside world. I already have an albedo and a inertia, so... Yeah, okay. The laser rifle's the most expensive rifle. Thank you. Actually, I'm going to do a holo screen. Okay. Yeah, and, a laser and a laser pistol's the most expensive pistol. You know, you're gonna you're gonna get the camo loop with it. I don't know what uh, the hollow screens need. No, no, no. The camo. Hang on, let me let me find it. I assumed it was hollow or camo, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hollow screen. Hollow screen projects a three-dimensional image around its wearer. The image is a pro is projected from a hollow disc, a small cast, a small disc. That slides into the top of the hollow screen control unit. The hollow disc contains complete holographic information on one person or thing. For example, a hollow disc could project the image of an adult male Yazirian in civilian clothes. The hollow screen is only 80% effective. On a roll of 81 to 100, the onlooker will notice something is wrong. The hollow image is limited roughly to the same size and shape as the wearer. For example, a Vrus could not masquerade as a human. Personalized hollow discs can be ordered. Uh, ordered, you can't get one in enough time. A personalized holo disc con uh, contains holo information on a specific individual. Producing a personalized holo disc takes 1 to 10 months because it requires detailed and very illegal holo filming of the desired subject. If the subject is willing, the filming can be done in a day. A camouflage feedback loop can be added to the holo screen for an additional 1,000 credits. The camo loop adjusts the hollow image to match nearby surroundings, giving the wearer an 80% chance to be, in inverted quotes, invisible to onlookers. So, um, the camo loop, is. can we get that included? Yes. Okay. So the question now becomes, do you want protection or do you want hideability? Well, I'll, I'll figure that out on the go right now. <laughs> versatility. Yeah, versatility. Fair enough. I mean, Doc, I would probably recommend that you go with a, the, the hollow screen because that means you can keep out of, like, you can keep invisible during combat. Okay, thank and you. So well, that, that's probably something you want. Well, cross country, I would do hollow. When we're going into a building, I would. No, they're working they switch out. They, well, they put the hollow, the, holo, the, the camo loop on a hollow screen, a camo screen basically, mm -hmm. will work. Uh, will work uh, inside a building. Other than a force axe, what are some of the better me melee weapons? Mm, good question. The sonic sword's really sonic good. Sword, yeah, the back up the, the son force axe. The sonic sword is it does it's like a plus fifteen instead of a plus twenty. But given that it does sonic damage, it's better. Like if you're coming get up against a skin suit, it's gonna shred through that. Okay. Yeah. The electric sword's uh, not bad. Uh, the electric sword's not a bad one either. Which uh, one's most expensive? The sonic sword. That is you. most expensive. What's the weight oh, really? on the sonic sword. Hang on, hang on. Sorry. What's the weight on the sonic sword? One. Um, just so that I'm com really, uh, like, I, I'm paranoid about being super honest about 
my inventory here because cats are That's all right. she can't carry shit. Um, uh, and she's already got like kits and stuff. So I, I just want, where where are we thinking that our like uh, our storage is going to be on this? Is are we taking big bags with us and then going on an explorer or no? Like, you got I thought you guys actually had actually had a, 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 a storage unit in a storage facility. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, so we're not talking about, like, what we did last time, where we put all of our expensive stuff in the transport, and then it got blown up. Uh, no. And then had to as far as I was aware, you guys yeah. were leaving it behind on this planet in a storage shed. Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. That makes me Unless feel you want better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Well, all I, I gotta did, do is I... blow up the storage shed. Yeah. Well, no, no, it just... Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> all right. I will figure that out. Cool. Because, yeah, we've got the maxi comps in storage, and they're, yes. like, they're way too heavy to even think about taking with us. That's right. They're in storage uh, in your storage shed. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, i got to figure all that out, but I can do that after while we're going. Right. Now, has everybody fired up their email and gotten the planetary report? Yes. Yes. Take it others and no. <laughs> yep, yeah, no, I saw it. That's yes, why I was definitely. asking the questions about opening oxygen. it now. That's right. So yeah, so that's so uh, that's uh, you, you guys can have a read of that at your li at your uh, you know whenever. But that's that's the planetary report. I'll I'll yeah. As a uh, so is it, hmm? as a yeah, yeah. player, it's amazing that if like normal oxygen on Earth is twenty percent, and the top of Everest is fifteen percent how thin that window of survivability is for us that's quite crazy when you think about it yeah it is 23 it's 20 yeah it is very very what what really stuffs you up uh and then this is theoretical uh stuff is um yeah. trace gases it's the trace gases that'll be the biggest problem for for um planetary explorers when we finally get out there uh, okay some yeah. of those can be can be really toxic yeah, um, I guess so it's worth saying that uh, Kat has an Atmos Cas pl uh, plugged into her body comp, so she should be she should know about these things as soon as they happen. <laughs> do you have an Atmos? You, you actually do you own an Atmos Cas, do you? Yes, I do. Yeah. Okay. Kat's gone Fair full on. nerd full trying tech. to figure out full everything nerd. tech. Yeah. <laughs> What uh, what progs have you got in your comp? Oh, okay, yeah. So she she has she has progets on my body comp to automatically inject myself with stados and stimdos when I go to sleep right. or I die. Okay, okay. Uh, and obviously that means I have the brain scan progget. Yes. And the helm link. Uh, and then mm. usual stuff. I've got a CAS interface, a calc all. Uh, I've got audio act, uh, and a chrono calc. So. I've, okay. I've I've kind of got the I can talk to my Atmos CAS as I'm walking yes, along that's kind right. of thing. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, uh, if you've got a CAS, if you, you have you got a comp a compu CAS? Uh what's the compu CAS? Well, it's like a, it's like the Atmos CAS only it's for compu it, it's for help you with com um, various computer skills. I would have uh, thought I, you I've, I've got the co the CAC, which is the computer access computer, yeah. Yes. No. No. Not. Yeah. No. Not, not just. A, there's, a, there's also. A, there's also. Yeah. But I mean, you can. You can hook that up to your. You can hook that up to your. If you had a, another slot on your, on your body comp, you can hook that up to your body comp and verbally, verbally activate it too, if you wanted. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just. I didn't have that much money. So. No, that's okay. Yeah. Just making sure you're aware. Yeah. There's a lot of things you can do with body comps, including yeah, including I'm, I'm uh, smart links on your on your weapons, which is another good one yeah. to choose. I'm I'm keen to do that because having figured out how much the scopes kind of suck and they're not a cheap way of decreasing your range increment, the uh, yeah. the smart links are pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh, by the way, so on a just on a quick sidebar, uh, did you get those books I sent you? Yes, I did. Yep. Yeah. You didn't because you didn't so say anything. No, no response. No nothing. <laughs> So they give us uh, duplicate kits, skill kits. Yes, if you've got if you've got the skills, they'll give you the kits. 
Oh, so that I guess Doc and Jazz, that's another 30. Wait, does that mean I get a technician and an engineer? Wait, yes, I do. I get yes, another engineer kit. Oh, yes. Yep. Yes. I said, I said these guys, uh, the, the CDC is 100% serious about you guys being successful. They are paying you double rates and they are equi equipping you pretty down well, personally. Yeah. Hey? They're equipping us yeah, to win. They're, yeah, they're equipping you to win. This is not a setup. Um, they're not going to waste this much money to take you guys out. Uh, so you can you can re you can relax, cat. <laughs> and as the ship leaves system, <laughs> it blows up. <laughs> no. So okay, so has everybody chosen a rifle and a pistol and a skin suit? Has everybody chosen their equipment? Yep. Yep. Got uh, got yeah. yeah, I just got to do my toolkits. All right. Now, anyone who hasn't done that so far is Jazz, and I'm wa and I'm willing to give Jazz five minutes when he gets here um, to do that. Um, and your toolkits, of course. Yeah, right. I then know my weight's going to be screwed up, but but I'll have to figure that out. Yeah, well, you better figure it out now, mate. Well, because... I don't have the values for every item. Ah, what do you need? Uh, the compass, the uh, Everflame, the uh, gas mask, tossy rad gauge, the flashlight, the rope. Um, I need to know I... if the defensive screens are different. I need the sonic sword as well. I also need the laser pistol and laser rifle. Uh, uh, laser pistols are one. Laser rifles are three. Sonic swords one. Well, sonic some of those are in the items, but yes. And some of those, some of those are in the items list. Point two five. Yeah, some of them are in the items list, mate. So look through oh, the items okay. list. If you can't find if you can't find the items list, then come and see me. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. The other thing you need to do as a group is work out wh who's carrying the party equipment, and, I, and you'll need and because you are going to be on foot to start with. You need to be able to hump all this stuff, or leave it here behind on this planet. Babu can take two of the water packs. Yeah, I don't. I'm not going to be able to take anything significant, but unless we have to, my weight limit's pretty low. What is Other the than taking my own. The IR jammers. The IR jammers are. Let me see if I can find them real quickly. Um. Oh damn. Uh, one a kilo each. The I I can carry those then. Who said oh damn and for what reason? Uh, it's just I we we've got radio phones, but I don't actually have the comms interface for my body comp yet, so. <laughs> Can't, can't voice things. activate it. Yeah. Oh well, what a shame. <laughs> oh well. Okay. Uh, the two freeish fields should uh, they should go to the dock. I think he's the only one who can administer them. Oh, the, we got two medics though. Don't forget, we got a dock and a medic. Oh yeah, should say. yeah. Jazz should. Yeah. Good point. I already I have shut goggles. Hang on, say it one at a time, guys. Sorry, which was that? The freeze fields. Freeze fields are pretty. Um, no, someone said the dock should carry something. Yeah, one of the freeze fields, but they're four kilos each. The freeze fields. Uh, the magna goggles, someone asked me about magna, is that right? Did I hear that? I was just saying that I already have. Oh, okay. Well, obviously Do, you, don't we all have it. poly boxes too? I don't know. Do you still all have poly boxes? Yep. Uh, yeah, I do. I thought that was our standard issue. I haven't given it up yet. I will put it in storage then. Yeah, I mean, I added mine to my, and I'm now divvying up storage.
Uh, so how much do the water packs weigh? Okay, I guess that Vogue needs that polybots. Uh, when I did my original yeah. equipment, I never did all that stuff. Oh, well, you better grab it. You better take the polybox then. Uh, the water packs. Uh, yeah. Um, where are they? A one liter's one kilo, but I don't know the water yeah, packs, right. how much water they have. Hey, I'm looking it up. I had the water pack listed as 10 the last time I carried yeah, them. Yeah, I do too. That's what I think it is as well. Yeah, it's 10 kilos. Yep, all right. Hey, it's water. Water, you know. Oh, yeah. Survival, yeah. guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what, when we're overweight, what does that actually mean to our maneuverability? Okay, um, if you're encumbered. Uh, where are the rules? I'm, in, I'm in kind of expecting Cat to be struggling along with a backpack full of water and dropping it at the first moment of combat. Yeah, well, that's certainly not, not a problem. Um, basically, uh, if you're over, uh, where is it? Could I find it? Could I find it? Could I find it? Hey, Cat. Mm -hmm. I have a note that I had a sonic stunner borrowed from you. I'd return it to you. Okay, cool. But I want to make sure that it gets back on your inventory if it ever was gone. Yeah, I took it off. I'll put it back on now. And uh, two clips, two SEU cool. clips. Um, from memory, from memory, it, it uh, halves your movement rate, and there's a penalty to, your, to every skill. Um, I can't find it right on this note point, moment, point in time. It's in the, I know it is on the web page, but the, I can't find it in the. Oh, hang on, look up the index. There's an index in this on this thing. Uh, encumbrance, page 19. Of course, it's under movement. Uh, here we go. Uh, the limit is uh, kilograms. If the weight of character's character carrying is more than half his strength score, he is encumbered. The maximum is your strength score. The maximum is your strength score in kilograms. Half more than half you are encumbered. The movement rate of encumbered characters is cut in half in all terrain. And you can pick up and carry up to twice your strength in ca in in ki kilograms, but only User move a few your meters. Channel. So yeah. Thomas. Thomas, how are you, mate? Thomas. Thomas. Oh, give him a minute. He's got pushed to talk yeah. and forgot to push. Yes, what he's done. I'm going to. User disconnected yeah. from your channel. Rip. Rip. Uh, okay, so this kind of means that, oh shit, okay. That's brutal. As, well, yeah, I mean, have you actually tried carrying 50 kilos? Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. A CrossFit, remember? Um, uh, have you tried carrying 50 kilos for more than 10 kilometers? Yeah, I know. In your, yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I, when I was younger, I did 50 mile backpack trips. Yeah, I, when I was younger, I did the same thing, but not anymore. No. Yeah, back when you were young. Yeah, yeah. And dumb. Yeah, all right. So that means. Hmm. That means that cat has been encumbered all of this time. Uh, yeah, I normally probably. run encumbered. My strength is like 35. Yeah, Cats is 45, and with tech kits and stuff, that really doesn't leave a lot of room. Ah. That's why you have. That's why you have a vehicle. Yeah, but they didn't give us a vehicle. They're dropping us on planet, on foot. Yeah, well, what do you expect? Wheelbarrow. A vehicle. Bitch, 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 man, man, man. Hey, did we get to keep the vehicles from um, the last place? No, you sold them all to, to, to recover your expenses, remember? To break even, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did not have a good time on. You did not have a good time on the on uh, on uh, Starmus. It was if not we your most successful tank. Maybe it's not not your most. We didn't not your blow most it up. Successful. 
It blew itself up. It'd be good as a player to know whether we could have possibly saved that tank. But it would also uh, remove the mystery of whether we could have possibly succeeded. It would. <laughs> is not back yet. He's back on the he's back on fa he's back on fancy grounds, he's just not back on the other one. Oh found that looking around uh, the web. I don't know if we're, you want us to look at that or not, Matt, but it rules. No, please don't. Alright. Oh shit. What source material. Hey? Oh, what are you talking about? Looking at the PDF that James linked. No, well, don't, please. <laughs> I only saw the title, and then you said don't, and then I closed. What's it. the uh, weight of the gas mask and the Everflame? They should be on the list, don't they? Everflame in point two five. Gas mask wasn't. Can you hear us now, Thomas? Yeah, I didn't. I don't yep. have the Everflame or the gas mask in the items list. I think hey yep. the other one for the Everflame. Let me drag it to Good. you. If it works. And the gas mask? Yay, Jazz can hear us. Yay. Hey, Jazz. How's it going, guys? Can you hear me? Good. Yep. Yes, we can hear you. Yep. Um, you should have a, a, a list of equipment for yourself. Um. Uh, on the fancy grounds site. Yep, yes, I see that. right. Go through, grab everything you need to. Uh, note on your character sheet all the personal equipment, and then work out whether you're overweight or not. Please, uh, we're waiting. We're, we we are now officially waiting on you, sort of, kind of, but not really. Okay. <laughs> um, yes, I would. A anything, everything will make me overweight. That's all right. Yeah, and then just put it in storage, but take it so we can sell it later. Yep. Sounds good. And um, you'll notice notes down by credits. About a hundred and was it eighty-five or thirty-five credits went towards um, restocking Doc's med kit. I already okay, took sorry. it off. What was the total? Uh, it's in the. If you look on down by the currency, I already adjusted your currency. Okay. But I put a note in there in case you what were was curious. What the uh, weight on the gas mask? Weight on the gas mask. Where is it? Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Gas mask, gas mask, gas mask. Uh, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Uh, Point two five. Okay, got that. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't realize you're waiting on me, guys. I'm in the middle of something here. Does it involve cats? No. So, you get, so let me know when you get all that done, please, everyone, and worked out your encumbrance. And so we cannot go over our max strength, right? No, you can't go over your max strength. Correct. Are we um, going somewhere on a ship or a vehicle where we can uh, put like a, a dump 
of our excess equipment. Now, if we are walking a kilometer to a base and then we can dump stuff. Okay. But that base no, you... is potentially inhabited by meanies, so. Um, here's an idea, gentlemen. We could make a cache where we get dropped and come back for it. But I wouldn't put too much there because who knows if we'll get back to it. But I probably am going to do that with a cache of grenades. Extra ammo and grenades, I'll probably cache wherever we get dropped. Yeah, it makes sense. Sounds like a sensible thing to do. I'm going to go ahead hey, and have system. 10 days of survival ration. Uh, so if you're... If, if your weapon is a grenade rifle, does that mean that you get 200 grenades? No, you get 20 grenades. <laughs> That's a good question. I did not think of that. <laughs> yeah, trust you to think of that. It's not a serious question, but it, it was worth asking. Oh, good. Excellent, good. But yeah, I'm going to cash my ammo bag, because... Okay. It's only a, a thousand credits or so if I have to replace it. <laughs> like five days of pay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> or five days of pain, either way. So yes. So what are you guys going to, going to be doing? Uh, what do you mean? We get on the ship and we head out. And if they want us to put weapons in a weapons locker, we're going to have trouble. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You guys, you really should learn to trust people, i.e. me. Yep, we trust you. Trust to... them as far as the uh, backs reaches, yeah. I mean, we can throw you farther now than we used to be able to, but still. And don't be mean. No, that's impressive, the weight you've lost. Even though it's been le under less than ideal circumstances. You can say that Did again. everybody account for the um, party equipment? I did not take any of it. I took the polybots, so I have that. Uh... Why, doesn't you, why don't we type in chat whatever you take, and that way we can account for it. Oof, that didn't work. Yeah, okay. Do you have a wait for the Sonic uh, D 
disruptor? Yeah, I do. Give me a sec. No problem. Uh, the trouble is and the weights, the weight and the price are in two different locations. I've got to scroll from one to the other. It's a pain in the butt. Um, disruptor or four? Yeah. Four. Thank you. You're welcome. And the hollow screen? Uh, standard screen. Um, they all weigh the same. Uh, power screens, two kilos. Except for the inertia screen. The inertia screen weighs three. Uh, how? Oh, inertia screen is three. Gotcha. Uh, how, how much does a radio phone weigh? Uh, four. They want radio. They're the, they're the backpack style radio phones. The ones that you the Vietnam the Vietnam um, era. Uh, you seen the movies? You know the guys wearing the radios in their backs. Are those? Do those have subspace capabilities? Nope. How? Well, no, we're supposed to contact them. Be oh, we should use the. I answered my own question. One, the compound. Mm, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, let's hope. Well, according to the satellite, it's still it's according to the satellites, it's still in place, and the, the, yeah, the, the base hasn't been wrecked. It's just gone quiet, and then yeah. So yeah, so you guys ready 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 to leave now, or are you still working on it, on things? Uh, I think we're pretty good. What was the weight on the Sonic Sword? One? Yeah. No, thanks, Dad. No, thank you. So we're uh, hiking to a base and investigating, it sounds like. Yeah, all 12 staff members have disappeared, no radio contact from them. They are a uh, small settlement that is mining gold and other rich metals. Um, this was all in secret. Uh, another settlement showed up uh, after, well, they discovered that another settlement showed up after they lost contact with their settlement. So they suspect foul play. Uh, our job is to investigate what happened to the 12 staff, rescue them if possible, if foul play was involved, uh, to identify whoever was responsible for that, and then uh, seek vengeance. <laughs> There's I'm also a cache of heavy weapons uh, under the in the middle of the central, well, under the center of the maintenance garage. It's a really big gun. We just have to go and gotcha. get you. And I believe the pay is the same. But we can hope for a bonus. The, we get double Who? pay. We get double rates. Who's our employer? CDC. Uh, Cassidy Development Corp. They're a mega corp. It, yeah, that's right, mate. Cassidy Development Corp. All right. I think Jazz is good to go. Yeah, if we're going to make a cache at the landing site, then I might do. I, I've i got to bury my ammo. Yeah. I'll bury some food. 
Oh, if you insist. And weapon. So are you guys right right to go or not? I yep. Think so. I'm good. Yeah, I'm pretty much good to go. All right. Good. 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 And face certain doom. Yes, we're ready to go. Face certain doom. Okay. Uh, so, um, uh, right on, uh, right on the uh, half hour mark, after answering all the questions, um, the security robot leads you downstairs to a waiting ground car. Um, the ground car um, speeds you out to out towards the. Um, sorry, it's out towards the. Um, starport uh, where you board a shuttle uh, and um, launch into orbit where you meet up with a pardon me uh, a uh, launch to the CDC uh, star, um, star, um, starship a star, a star, uh, space station I should say in orbit uh, it's only a small one, uh, but there is a, uh, a size six uh, freighter docked Is that on your character sheet, Jazz? Uh, yep, that was his uh, XP expenditure. For, yeah, uh, but was that were they? Are they actually on your character? Yes. Sheet? Yeah, oh, I good. counted them. Good, good, good. Um, there's a, a, high, a size six uh, freighter uh, docked to the uh, the CDC's um, uh, habitat in space. Uh, the uh, you guys disembark uh, from the shuttle, uh, and you're met by a, a grizzled old um, human male uh, in a captain's uniform. Uh, with a corn cob, uh, with a corn cob pipe clenched between his teeth. Ah, uh, so you're the one that's going to Alcatraz, are you? He says. Yep. That's us. Uh, I see. I see. He says. Well. My name's uh, Captain Garlis Thropper. And I'm the captain of the Goldwing. I'm afraid it's not luxury uh, luxury accommodations on board. In fact, some of you are going to have to bunk on the floor in your in the in the uh, passenger compartment passenger compartments. But we'll get you there safe and sound. Follow me. Suppose that means there's no steam baths. Huh? Steam baths? Uh, actually, there is a steam bath. All of my crew, all of my crew are dralocytes. I, I, uh, I couldn't actually, you know, keep them aboard if I didn't have a steam bath. True. True. <laughs> it's no 
know the crew hang out in the steam baths. All right. Get pregnant. <laughs> I'm an it. Okay. It's a pants-free zone. <laughs> it already is a pants-free zone, but Booster's weird. All right, so uh, you let aboard the uh, the Dolwyn. Um, it's a uh, there are three cabins: one one luxury cabin with a double bed, uh, and two secondary cabins, each with two single beds. Um, uh, this is a crew deck, says Gareth. Um, make you yeah, the mess is there, the heads there, um, and I'll. Uh, See about getting the uh, getting the uh, steam bath worked out. Uh, if they uh, if they allow you, if they want want to let you join in, I can't see why they wouldn't. So uh, who's sleeping where? How many beds were there? Uh, one double and four singles. Oh, we can take turns. We don't have to sleep at the same time. Yes, but who's in who's in which cabin and who's on the floor of which cabin? Well, there's six of us, right? And there's a double and four singles, so no one's on the floor. Yep. You can put the two dralocytes in the double. I don't want to go with him. He wears clothes. What kind of weirdo wears clothes? I don't want to go with it. I don't think anybody wants to sleep in bed with Cerise. She's a bed hog. Well, uh, well, you always put cat and dog together, I suppose. That's up to them. And the silence was deafening. As long as she's <laughs> cute. Who, Doc? Doc cute? I don't know. It's... Oh, of course the Doc is cute. Oh yeah, uh, what are, who else is carrying the rest of the magna goggles, the water pats, the four radio, uh, the four hollow flares and the other radio phone? I hope someone's carrying, because if you're not, you're in trouble. So the magna goggles, uh, Kat already had, uh, some commie goggles, which had UV starlight IR and magnification so she didn't need any mm -hmm. uh yeah, the yeah, radio the phones and the IR jammers and the holo flares are what we need we have the IR jammers yeah, bad boost after those. we have we have okay, one well, freeze the, field the doc volunteers to carry something Yeah, I'm already leaving stuff behind to get under my encumbrance, under my Do max. we really? Do, do you guys want me to take the radio phone and wear it? Yeah. Okay. So that means someone else needs to take it, so it's not completely useless. Correct. And it weighs a whopping four kilos, so... Okay, I'll take it. Uh, how much does the holo flares wear? Oh, uh, 0.1 each. Oh, okay. Negligible. Yeah, we'll just add the holo flares onto her sheet. She's got room. Uh, has Jazz got enough room for the second freeze field? Um. Jazz is fully loaded, uh, unless we want Jazz to stop carrying medical supplies, <laughs> which I'm a bit hesitant to do. The but freeze field. Could... The freeze field is a medical supply. Well, I can stop carrying like you know medicaid. Wow. Is the freeze field like a stasis? Doc yeah, took a hundred biocore. Yep. They bought a the, the, lot the of medical supplies. The doc's a pusher. Should um, should Jazz go ahead and um, not carry a med kit then? No, no, carry it. You'll need one. Because if you <laughs> don't, that means you can't 
heal, which I guess I have to grab docs. So uh, yeah. we have the hollow. Cat uh, has the hollow flares. Uh, Doc and I have radio phones. I have the polyvots. Babu, uh, wait. Doc and who else has the other second freeze beam? Doc I'm has one. You always. You, you could always put it. You could always put it in the in the grenade gr the, with the grenade case when you land. Yeah, so Doc is carrying one freeze field. Are we putting the second in the cache? Um, how, how heavy is freeze field again? Four. Four? Um, alright, I'll, I'll, I'll drop some stuff off of Jazz, and uh, Jazz will take the freeze field. Okay, okay. uh, Moak has one pair of magnet goggles. If you uh, don't have magnet goggles, you should take them and at least put them in storage, guys. They're valuable. Doc, do you need Madden goggles? Mm, well, I, if you want me to carry them, I can. Everyone else has a pair that does. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the IR jammers are with Babu, and Babu has two water pots. Who's taking the other three? Or are we putting that on the cache? On the cap? I put that in the cache. Okay. That's 30 kilos. So we have. Wait, is each water pack 10 kilos? 10 kilos. Yeah. Yep. 10, ki yeah, 10 okay. liters. Okay, so in the cache, we just have whatever personal equipment everyone el everyone's putting in and three water packs. Uh huh. Can somebody keep track of that? Barrow. Yeah, we had one. We had one, but. Vote, can you. Track the water that's in the cache. Yeah. I'm just reading through the background report now. Yeah. It does. Assuming you do. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's snowstorms, so that means that the planet has some water, but it doesn't really say much about water availability. Well, if it's got snow, it's got a, it's got an active hydrosphere, hasn't it? I mean, you've seen the maps. Hmm. Hey. Did Jazz get the maps? Should have done. No, he wasn't here when it was handed out. Yeah, but his character was locked. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Hang on. Rivers, lakes, and ocean. Oh, cool. Any way you can ID those images, because uh, I've hot keyed them, but right now it just says unidentified. Oh, app. yeah, sorry. Thank you. And for your information, Jazz, the purple arrow's pointing to the CDC compound. Okay. And all the way over to your left, yeah, where the yellow or red arrow is, is the old initial landing site I had with the. Uh, New compound of whoever's in there. Gotcha. Our target base. There you go. Right. Um, so. Um, anything you want? Anything you want to do on board ship, guys? Apart from sit there, relax, keep your weapons up to date. The magna uh, goggles weigh one. Yes, they do. Sorry. Um, read well, the background report. Study. Yeah. What if? 
Yeah, Volk is going to uh, hang out with the crew, you know, take steam baths together. He's also going to uh, see if he can't learn a thing or two from. Okay. If the captain allows me on the bridge, I'd, or technician I'd love to learn stuff. more stuff. Or even, yeah. even if any of I got them the, know I got any, the idea. anything new about mining, since he is yeah. a miner. Yeah, got the, he's got the idea. Uh, same with you. Yes, you are allowed. You, you managed to sweet talk your way onto the bridge uh, during uh, various jumps as you jump, make the two or three jumps necessary to um, cross into Rihanna's system. You get on quite well. You, you end up getting on quite well with the crew and with the captain. Uh, everybody does. Um, you know, pleasant evenings just spent playing chess. Um, you know, you pick up a few things about piloting series. You know. Astrogation for the for cat things like that. Uh, not enough to qualify for a skill level, but yeah, you know, not bad. Mm -hmm. So, so yes. Um, so after several days, week or so, a couple of weeks, whatever, you uh, you uh, make uh, the jump into the Rihanna system. Um, wait, wait, how many days are we taking travel? I'll work it out later. Okay. Because all I, I heard was a lot of money. It. Yeah, a lot of money. <laughs> um, so you, uh, you uh, board the uh, docked shuttle, which is docked to the side of the uh, gull wing. And uh, with the equipment you're taking with you, and head down to Alcazar. So the shuttle doors open onto a meadow that is radiant with flowers of every colour. Uh, tall trees surround the clearing, blocking any view of the compound, which is approximately two kilometres away to the south. Well, good luck, says the Drellosite pilot. <laughs> Cheers. And Thanks. Uh, <laughs> one, once you're once you're clear of the shuttle with your equipment, he uh, he lifts off, heads back to the goal wing. Um, you have instructions to contact the the goal wing every twenty hours. Uh, it's the the goal wing will remain in orbit around Alcazar, waiting for information from you. And how are we going to do that? With the radio, radio phone? phone? I thought the radio phone was only like kilometres of... Yeah, well it's only kilometres to the orbit. It's only kilometres up, isn't it? Uh, I, yeah, I guess. And I there's no... And there's no... And there's nothing to interfere uh, with line of sight. Assuming it's in line, assuming you've got line of sight. Yeah, okay, fair, cool. That's yeah, the way we do it. Yeah, make sure cool. the radio phone works in the first place. You signals to the pilot. Hey, you, you, you get yeah. in there. Yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the captain comes on the goal. Uh, the captain from the he comes on and says, "Yeah, we've got uh, we've got you on the radio check. Good hunting. Fantastic. Thank you very much. See you in uh, see you in twenty so, hours. So every twenty hours they'll be well, they're not couldn't be directly above all the time, right? No, of course not. But every 20 hours we're supposed to check in? Yeah, every so 20 hours we're supposed to every, check in. Presumably about every 20 hours they'll be within, uh, I guess, range of the radio. Somewhere, somewhere above you, yes. Okay. 20 hours is a standard day. That's right, 20 hours is a standard day. Um, as Which you, doesn't as exist you move on this planet. No, I know. But as you move about... <laughs> um, you, you you definitely you definitely note note and notice the lower gravity because remember the Alcatraz is only 0 0.8, 0 0.8 g. Um, hey, you can fly further, Jess. Yes, I can. Less encumbrance. Oh, that's true, huh? The effect on encumbrance. Uh, it should do. Just being a smartass. No, it's true actually. It does affect it, gravity. Does affect um, encumbrance. 
to some extent. So yeah, you're only, how much you're more only can I pick up? Well, you're only effectively carrying 0.8 of what you would normally uh, of what you actually are carrying. So, so you if you're carrying 20% more. You can carry 20% more. Well, not actually, the math doesn't quite work out that way, but it's pretty close. So certainly, if, 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 certainly, if you uh, yeah, if you were ca if you were carrying 50 kilos, it only feels like you're carrying 40. Cool. Yay. <laughs> Kaz Kit Noel, yeah. K A Z K I T. Yeah, that's right. That's correct. Case kit's a Yazirian name. Noel, who knows? That's why cat sometimes get gets mistaken for a Yazirian without when they don't see her. Oh no. <laughs> Sometimes. You look like a monkey. And you act like one. Too. Sorry. Ah. So which way are you going, guys? Uh, well, do going, we not have directions? We're going, okay. let's see. I'm assuming we landed to the east of the settlement. No. I told you which way you landed. We got to go south to it. We, we go towards the south. No, who chance? Which way is the settlement? I don't know. I look at my compass. Which and and which way are you gonna head? Uh, the way uh the uh, south. What? I'm, I'm radio. You which, know what? I I'm, I'm radio to the pilot. We I radio back to the pilot. Uh, where did you land us again? Were we north of the settlement? Yes, <laughs> the settlement is south of you. All right, there we go. Problem you, solved. You were to you were told that. I was I was managing Baboon, my inventory Baboon, still. Baboon, you, you see, if you listen to people with pants, you wouldn't be in a big trouble, would you? Yeah, think about that. <laughs> That's a scary thought. That is a scary thought. Listening okay. to people with um, pants. Oh. So using the compass and heading south, uh, you walk through a majestic forest of tall trees with little undergrowth. The woods remained silent. There's nothing around. There's no bird. There's no, there's, there is in the sound of a few cic insects, cicada light. They're not cicadas because you're not on Earth. You're not on a, you know, a planet where cicadas exist. But they sound like cicadas. Um, you see no creatures. Uh, you do notice, however, uh, scattered around, a number of very large fruit spheres. The spheres are about 50 centimetres uh, in diameter. Um, Glenn, looking up, you can see the same kind of fruit growing from large trees above your heads. Any movement in the branches overhead? No, nothing, not a thing. Vogue pokes one of the fruits. Uh, what with? What are you poking with? Your uh, finger, your toe? Uh, your I'm poking it with. Uh, my Everflame torch thing. Your, well, that's hang on, like your torch? Lighter, you, you, that's a lighter? lighter? Oh, uh, I'm gonna, I, I don't, I poke it with a stick. Poke it with a stick, okay. Um, it's, uh, soft, a little bit like a, 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 a mango that's just about ripe. Um. Does our biologist want to do anything here? Yeah, can, are the fruits poisonous, Doc? Wait, Heck actually, we don't have Oof. a biologist anymore, do we? We don't have a biologist anymore, no. I'm a chemist. Well, all right, Mr. Chemist, can you tell me? I could do an analysis, but it'll take a while. It'll yeah, take I'm not away. that interested. The, the Toxie Rad will uh, let us know of any immediate threats, so that's probably... That's true. Uh, that that's a the first portal call, uh, and I believe that we pretty much all have toxi rads, or at yes. least a paranoid computer person does. <laughs> uh, the toxi rad the toxi rad gauge uh, is not showing anything when you when you use a, a you know when you sample the fruit with it it doesn't show anything. 
uh, anything bad as far as toxins are concerned. All radi the radiation level is uh, is certainly well within what it should be, and um, the atmosphere is uh, perfectly breathable. Cool. All right. Well. All right, can I do a chem analysis then? Well, It'll take several hours. Doc, we got no time to waste. We gotta get moving. Oof. Well, it's something you can do <laughs> once you check. Well, yeah, yeah, later if you want. Yeah, we can take uh, one and we one can that you could carry with you. Well, the ones on the ground um, might be too, might be all right. The ones hanging up in the trees might be a bit a bit firmer. But it's the size of a medicine ball, guys. It's fifty. It's 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 fifty centimeters. That's you know, foot and half half a yard. So let's get to the in base. Diameter. Yeah, let's hey? just get going. <laughs> That's a pretty big thing. Um, while you're while you're playing around with the fruit, um, you get a you get a a, a call on the radio. Um, what do I do? Hello. Yeah, hang on. Hold up. No, I'm just talking to the radio. Hello. Hello. We're all in yeah. pants down here. Ah, here it is. That's okay. a lot. Um, without preamble, or even saying hello, or even acknowledging you, I am under attack by an unidentified a scout. Uh, sorry, I'm. Uh, this is the captain. I am under attack by an unidentified assault scout ship, and must leave the Rihanna system to save my crew and ship. Good luck. That size. Boy, didn't see that coming. I guess we don't you, need those radio phones anymore. Hey, Babu, Come you might want to uh, just... Yeah, you might want to just wipe that 20-hour uh, timer off your Chronicon. There goes that. Yep. Where's our danger pay? You're getting paid danger pay to start with. Extra danger pay they're supposed to be. We got paid for travel, okay? We just made how many thousands of credits just by sitting on our butts on... Is yeah, using the, searching the trees? Can we see any of those primates? Uh, you can search the tree. You can search for the trees. Yeah, give me some. Give me a search roll, please, if you like. Jazz is camouflaged himself. Yep. Sorry, He's camouflaged our cash. Oh, the first one. Let's mark where it is too on something. Well, there's a scorch mark on the ground where the shuttle landed. So. Wow, cat, you are. Man, I didn't know you were shooting your search, your eye. I didn't know you have eye laser. Yeah, I don't know why that range short modifier was on there. So that would actually um. be... No. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, that, that would be a pass. pass. Yeah, that would have been a pass. Uh, pass. I got uh, a 50... Did... Sorry, go on. Go on. I was just going to say, I got a 51 success. Yes, uh, you don't actually locate it. There is no animal. You don't find any animals or that in the trees. Okay. Uh, I was just afraid that the little primates were going to mess with our caches. Possibly. Well, we camouflaged it. Yep. So. All right, let's head out, guys. The assault scout might come looking for us. Maybe. Would we know whether that ship was uh, big enough to not like come into like sort of onto the planet? Yes, like, assault scouts can land. Well, they assault can? assault okay. scouts are only are only size six. They're only size three, and they do they do usually have landing capability. Yeah. Well, I mean, we don't have any scanners for spaceships, so that's no, just yeah, you don't. If we knew it was a ship big enough that it couldn't come down to the ground level, then we'd be less no, paranoid. No. But it sounds like we should run. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, if the ship couldn't come down, they would have smaller ships that could. I mean, we're, I think oh, yeah. we're going as fast as we can. So up ahead, after a while, after about an hour of hiking, you can make out the compound's reactor tower. Soon, the wire fence surrounding the compound becomes visible. The entrance gates in the fence are swinging loose, obviously blasted open. There is a security robot stands motionless just inside the gates. Let me give you a map 
Let me give you a mat. Everybody make sure that they've got their CDC skin suits on. And do these robots have like a CDC logo on them? Uh, no, you're not, you're not that close yet, but hang on a sec. Um, the compound contains four buildings, the largest of which is the reactor and processing plant. Several antennas and a shattered radar ball are mounted atop the reactor's cooling tower. A large building next to the processing plant is the maintenance garage. On the east side of the compound are two smaller... Uh, on the east side of the compound are two smaller buildings. The smallest of these, the compound, sorry, the computer shed, also has an antenna atop of it. The other building is the barracks. Three heavy-duty robots, another security robot, and a maintenance robot are visible. None of them are moving. Signs of damage are apparent. The maintenance garage has a large hole in the north wall, and several skeletons are sprawled about the compound. Massive piles of tailings and waste, the, the waste products of a, mailing, of a mining operation sit outside the fence beyond the processing plant. Hmm. Yeah, I flip my screen on and pull out my, uh, pull down my goggles and start scanning. Yeah, see if we can identify the robots, see if they are CDC or not. Whoa! Giant Babu. Stand back. Let Babu handle this. Babu smash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that brought me down the side. I can't get it any smaller. Oh, really? I can't. Sweet. Yeah. I didn't notice that there were pants on. Can you uh, zoom up on the uh, map? That's what I'm doing. I used to zoom up on the map. Squash the bug. Two meter squares, five meter squares. Uh, there is a there's a grid on the map. Uh, we are looking at one square is I don't know, it's too blur. Two meters. Two meters. No. Ah, there we go. What? Yeah, Vogue no, also I, I wants to check if there's any uh, frequencies open right now. As in any current transmission. Stop moving jazz. Take your finger off, please. Alright, we'll start from there, gentlemen. Thank you. And stop ro rotating my robots. <laughs> yeah, are there any distress signals or any transmissions? Any signals going to the robots that I can intercept? Are you sc you're, scanning the, you're scanning for frequencies, are you? Yep, I'm scanning all frequencies. Can you give me a technician role, please, on that one? Well, using what, an appropriate technician skill? Technician, technician... Or radio Offer. skills, you got it? Uh, would that be just operate for technician? Yes, it would. That's a hard note. For both of us, maybe the actual person with robotics might have something. No, that was a search with the magnet goggles. Hey, Cerise, why don't you, want you me try to do search? technician stuff, I can do technician stuff. Yeah, I, I failed at scanning frequencies. Yep, uh, no, there are no there are no frequencies. There, there's nothing. It's complete silence across every across every frequency. All right. From the low um, ultra, ultra low radio, almost invisible, almost invisible light. There's nothing. Are the robots showing damage? Um, the, the robots goggles? are showing some damage. Um, none of them move. None of them are moving. None of them. All they're all, um, for want of a better term, slumped. You know what I mean? They're like powered down. Pa pa well, yeah. 
Do they all have their panels removed? No. Do they have any... Uh, Pants? Logos? Any marking? Uh, no, they, 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 they've got um, various uh, serial number log uh, serial number markings on them, things like that, but, yeah. Okay, well, the so doc is going to volunteer to walk in there if, if we can't find an alternative. Uh, doc, yeah, no, you're not walking up to the front gate. We're going to sneak in. Everybody got their screens on? Yeah, I got my albedo screen on. What weapons are the? Does it look like these robots have? Well, they don't. The, the heavy duty heavy duty robots appear to be mining robots. The. <laughs> Excuse me. But none of them are armed. Uh, the uh, security robot. The two security robots. Um. Don't have um. Uh, do appear to be equipped with uh, some sort of rifle, probably a laser rifle. Um, and uh, they're each wearing a, a back, a, 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 a back, a power backpack, or they have a power backpack. Yeah. yeah um, okay. And the maintenance robot um, doesn't have any weapons at all. Uh, in fact, the one you can see has um, a vacuum attachment and two mechanical arms. Jazz, how about you escort Cat to the computer shed? Um, I guess I can go to the maintenance shed for the heavy weapon cache. That's close. Um, and then that leaves... Both will go some... to the reactor and processing plant. Yeah. All right. Uh, who does that leave? Well, that leaves, uh, Cat, uh, that leaves Babu. Babu to check Babu. out the barracks? And Doc, you can escort whoever you want. Or I'll just wait for <laughs> the call for, for aid. Well, you probably Doc, I got a brilliant idea. Why don't move. you stand in the center of the compound or like get on a roof and keep looking? That's okay, assuming I'll... the robots don't try to kill. Yeah, keep your eye out for that uh, assault scout. Look for contrails. Okay, so I'll go into the middle of the, the compound right. once it's clear. All right, so, so everybody, everybody, everybody's aware of their own movement rates, I'm assuming? Been a while. Give me a minute. Yeah. 30 per turn, running. Yeah, are you going to run or are you going to walk? Well, I'm um. guessing we're, we're walking... 10 per turn to start off with, and then we start running when the shit hits the fan, as yep. per usual. <laughs> <laughs> um, the thing that I was going to ask is, I know you said in your description, you described mm -hmm. it as computer shed. Uh, yes. So we actually know that from whatever plan yes, you got. Yes, you, you, know you know that from a briefing. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah now you're, you're, you're particularly well informed on this mission. Okay, good. Good, good. I just, um, it's I also... It's also pretty obvious because of the antennas on top. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Just All right. Well, sure um, we if everybody if everybody knows their own if everybody knows their own movement rate, walking movement rate. If you want to count it from that square and actually count your way to where you want to go, on a on a turn by turn basis, please. Uh, we do. Uh, one, then two, then one, then two for diagonals. Yeah, yes, please. Yep. Are you checking out that robot, or you just happen to be passing by? Just passing by. But I That's am okay. keeping an eye on him, just in case it starts okay. to move. Yep. No, it's not moving. So, anyone else want to move in? Let me see what's you my move walk. That far. You guys can walk far, can't you? Should be like five squares, right? Well, it's oh, two meters. It, it's two meters squares. Yeah, you make too many squares. So you, you've done a double move, jazz and yeah, jazz and cat. Yeah, isn't that oh. possible? Are you, are you running? Are you? Well, no, running would be walking. even further. 
Did everyone no, just I get? No, I said what? do a single. I, mean, I said do a single. Just do a single movement. Whatever your movement rate is. All right. One. Five. Okay, so we'd be where Jazz is. Okay. That's a single. You can move thirteen <laughs> meters per square. Wow. Yeah, he dances. Nice. <laughs> thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen meters per turn. So that's about six squares. Yeah, it's 12 meters is 6 squares, and then it's on the diagonal, so that's fine. Alright, everybody move again, please. See, this way, I get to, this way I get to tell how far you guys are spread out. If and when. Anything in the maintenance garage? And if, if and when anything goes, goes belly up. Uh, maintenance garage, maintenance Wait, garage. Wait, are we, are we walking or are we running? Walking. You're walking. Okay. Please. So the jumble of, uh, on the grounds itself, I will, I haven't forgotten you, Chris. The grounds itself, uh, there's a, a jumble of debris, uh, footprints, and wheel marks cover the ground inside and around the compound. Um, you, you, it's impossible to estimate coming and going, attackers or whatever, if the place was attacked. No, the place was attacked. It's obvious the place was attacked. You can't tell how many attackers there were, though. What you can tell, though, is it looks like all the attacks were ground-based. There does not appear to any to be any aerial strafing or bombing, for that matter. Heavy weapons marks. Uh, a variety of weapons. Um, there are high explosive. There are laser scorches. Um, there are pock marks from uh, projectile weapons or gyrojet weapons. Um, so, uh, modern, certainly modern weapons. It was attacked by modern weapons. But there I mean, no in terms speeds. of rocket launchers, recoil uh, rifles. Yeah, look, look, there's enough, there's enough damage to some of the buildings to the maintenance barracks that it could have been hit by a rocket. Okay. Or something heavy. Um. Uh, you managed to locate five Yazirian of rust and five human skeletons. Well, that's 11 of 12. <laughs> uh, there was supposed to be one Dralicide on staff. There well, was the five, the Yuzi you said how many of each race? There were five Yuzirians of rust and five human skeletons in the compound. And now there you're supposed saying to skeletons as in their bodies are gone, or their flesh as is gone. As if they've been, as if they they've been picked clean, probably by scavengers. Okay. Now, yeah, would a drillsite leave remains? Well, the drillsite will leave leave remains, but I mean, it's all muscle and organ and soft, ju juicy fluids. So I'm okay. sorry. It was uh, five humans, five Yuzirian, and a brat. Okay. Yes. Um. That's right. That's correct. Um, uh, are they out all out in the yard? They're all out somewhere in the compound. Um, a couple of them have tattered uniforms still, uh, or skin suits, whatever overalls near the nearby. Near, yeah, like, but it looks like that they've been had a go at by scavengers, hyenas, or well, maybe they sky strike. Maybe it was those sky strikes. They're, they're dog like. They're supposed to be. They're supposed to be ca uh, uh, um, uh, carrion eaters. So were the gates open or closed? The gates were open. And the sky skites can fly. Uh, there yeah. does not appear to be any ID or jewelry on them. Okay. And then I'm looking in the maintenance garage. Yeah, yep, yeah, can't there. Uh, so the doors to this large single room are open, revealing three parked explorers and the remains of a blown up air car. Uh, that's that's the air cars up against the north wall where the where the hole in the wall is. The explorers do not appear to be damaged. In addition to the hole in the wall that the characters can see from outside the compound, this building has a number of blast holes in the roof. The metal sheeting around these holes points downward, indicating to thoughtful characters that the attack came from above. One of these holes is directly above the under. Uh, one of these holes is directly above an undamaged explorer.
an undamaged it's the roof that came in from above like grenade could they been in grenades that were thrown on the roof grenades or or, or some or some um, d19 on a detonator i mean they're both the same size explosive but they didn't cause any damage to the um explorer underneath it no it did not from what you can see here or is the Explorer parked afterwards? Well, that's the question, isn't it? Is there any debris on the top? I'll go ahead and check the roof of the Explorer to see if there's any debris check on the Check under the Explorer, too. No, there's no there's no debris on the roof of the Explorer. And um, underneath it? Every, 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 and, and, but there is a little bit of debris underneath it. Can you guys give me another, can you guys do another move, uh, movement, please? I'm not sure where the explorers are in there. Yeah, in the middle. That'll do, yeah. Right. Okay. Um, for some reason, all the robots are activated. Of course they are. Yeah, of course they are. Which one's the security robots? Which one are? Uh, that one and that one. You can tell by the shape. Okay. And the mining. Oh, the mining ones are the three other ones. Okay. The three other ones. No, the yeah, two that other one. ones down south. The uh, maintenance robots. The one next to Babu. Okay. Yeah, there's three mining and two security. And a main. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. So uh, they um. Uh, activate. Uh, the security robots draw their, las their laser rifles and aim them towards you and the gen the, all the other robots are moving in, in everybody's general direction. Uh, you are under attack. Initiative? Yeah, but right, hang on, I gotta get, I'm, I'm not ready for you yet. Uh, in the maintenance garage, I'm guessing the explosion is what damaged the air car? Maybe. Yes. Did anybody else pick up a robotic skill? <laughs> I don't think so. Nope. Jazz, right. Jazz uh, holds up his laser rifle and says, I've got your robotic skill right here. He says while being impaled by a robot. <laughs> I'll mark these as enemies just to give you the idea that they are, you know. All right. So just uh, just so you, if you've got the com combat tracker open, um, HD one's heavy duty one, heavy duty two, and heavy duty three. All right, M one's maintenance robot one, um, and S one and S two are uh, security one and security two. Okay. So if you guys can roll me initiatives, please, that would be really good. Did I do that twice? I did that twice. And I'll get to you in a second. Okay, well, hopefully, you know, these aren't super duped up war robots. Heavy duty no, have lost... Heavy duty lots chassis have lots of hit points, guys. Or lots of stamina. Same thing. Okay. And I think you will understand now why I got everybody to move the way they did. Kind of made me think uh, we 
should have checked out the robots. But that's okay. Oh, well. I would have, you know, checked out the robots anyway, you know? <laughs> All right, so. Uh, I'm operating on a, on a narrow screen here, so. So, vote got a six, is that right? Yeah. Vote got a six. And. Uh, Cerise got a 13. I'll be right back. Yeah, Jazz yeah. Jazz is yeah. a 13. Thank you. Jazz is Doc a 13. Doc is a 7. Doc's a 7. Babu's a 9. Babu's a 9. Cat's a 9. Cat's a 9. And I have to do initiatives for the bots. Oh, the level. Okay, that's good. The level. Three. Maintenance spot is also. God, I've got this stuffed up, haven't I? That's better. And the two security robots. And I'm just about ready for you. Right, let's go, shall we? Cerise, you're first. All right, um, I'm going to move to this heavy maintenance guy and to his okay. access panel. Okay, so you're going to move the heavy. Okay, just, just so you know, just for, you know, um, he has a uh, a scoop shovel. Yeah, that's gonna okay. hurt. Yeah, possibly. Okay, you're gonna go to that guy there. Okay, that that's your action. You yeah, because that's first? the first one I can reach to, and then I give the warning. I yell the yep. cat. What I picked. yep saw that. End your turn, please. If only okay. I. Uh, Jazz is going to take a shot at that security robot that's just like right by him. That one there, yes. Well, it's only four meters. Yeah. All right. Does it look like it had a screen? It has a screen in the back. Let me shot. Uh, no. Uh, yes, it does. It's got an Abibo screen. Um, and then Cat's going to the 
shed. Uh, so Jazz will... How, how does dodging work? Can I just say Jazz will move right inside the door? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Right inside move, the door. In the doorway. And dodging. Yeah, okay. Um, how much damage did you do with your laser shot? Uh, 40. Uh, 5, um... Eight. Five off the uh, sorry, it's one every five, isn't it? For an NLB dash three. Eight. Uh, eight. eight. Thank you. Eight down. I need to keep track of energy as well. Uh, so and if you're done. Will, yep, Jazz will also yell out. Um, security bot's got a video. Well, apparently has a video screen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the security robot shoots that dock. This one up here. The that one. That one. Shoots at Doc. Sorry, Doc, closest target. Uh, attack modifier, there it is. And hits. Are you going to be our beta screen? He's AFK at the moment. In the chat window, it says he is. Oh, he is too. Oh, okay. Oh, here he is. I'm back. Sorry. You're back. Sorry, mate. Yeah, the, you've just been shot by a security bot with a laser rifle. Uh, you got an, uh, Do you have an Abide screen? Let's see. What do I have? I have... I have a hollow screen. Oh, do you? Okay. Is it, and it's active, is it? Uh, yeah, if, it, if I can hide with it, yes. Uh, no! Ah, oh, the robot sees through it. Well... And so... Do, bugger. And so does 45 points of damage to you. Laser damage to it. Um, and I'll be... A, a, a reflective suit will, uh, will protect you, obviously, but uh, I don't think he's got one of those. Yeah, uh, hollow screen... Yeah, no. No. I don't... That's 45. I don't... Are you still up? No, I'm at zero. I had a, so, I had a uh, strange robot, feeling that 45 was the right number. Uh, yeah, well, 45 uh, is luck, exactly the right number. The, uh, the, do, the, the robot does not shoot at you again, but does change its aim towards Babu. Okay. Hang on a sec. Oh, for God's sake. More screen real estate. Of course, there's not there. Ah, ha, ha, ha. You need to get Matthew. Is that another maintenance spot? That is another maintenance spot. Babu, you're being attacked by a maintenance spot. Uh, this lucky. one, this one uh, has an electro sniff and two mechanical arms. It swings at you. And misses. That's interesting. That's still playing up. I thought I'd fix that. Did everybody get an error message you sent, or just me? Uh, I saw you roll a 58. I think you just got it. Yeah. No, I didn't see anything. That's okay. Nope. I didn't, uh, so I didn't that robot misses you. Uh, and this security robot two shoots at cat. You gonna be that screen cat or hollow screen cat? He has an albedo screen. He has an albedo screen. So in this case, it's only just damage I have to worry about. If he hits you. 
Which he doesn't. Which he doesn't. He misses. Oh, misses cool. On the, on the thing. Uh, so that's that robot. Uh, next we have Babu. What you doing, Babs? Okay, security robot one has a vacuum in two arms. No, maintenance robot one has a vacuum in two arms. Right. Maintenance, maintenance robot two, two has, has electrosniff and two arms. Okay. I gotta take out number two then. But the vacuum is gonna suck up all your gear. Or you it's turn the two on arms you worry about. Until he blows then. Oh no. And oh it no. begins. And it begins. Is that your <laughs> turn? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Whoops. A trash cannon. Vacuum turned into a trash Uh That maintenance robot, sorry, that heavy duty robot, swings at you, Cerise, with his bucket, scoop shovel. Okay. Cat didn't get to go first. Savage. Hey? Who didn't Cat get to go came first? came up. Cat came up on the combat tracker first. No, oh, it's, 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 it's simultaneous, so it doesn't matter. Why? What are you going to do? I've been running into the computer shed to see if I can. Yeah, well, that's well again. That, well, that's not going to be is it? Yeah, Cerise is going to get smacked on the other side of the compound. You're good. Yeah. I'm used to it. I never get to work on friendly robots because Jazz shoots them in the back of the head and kills them. Yeah. I actually think that was Cat, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> I think Jazz okay, so the, 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 the back of the shovel head. Swing, the shovel swings at you and connects with you. Um, for, uh, for a lot of damage because it's a heavy duty robot. Uh, 59 points. Oh, geez, a lot of 10s in that. 59 points out of a possible 60. Skin suits have that? Skin suits will have that, yes. Wow, 59 out of 60. That's yeah, I, I, rolled, I rolled five tens. See? Can I try and show this to you? No, I can't, sorry. And Cat, what are you doing? Uh, she's hoping that she can run into this computer shed and interface with the computer to stop all of her friends dying because it feels like she is our only hope. Uh, do you want an operate computer? Uh, I'm just reading up on it now. Okay. Uh, there is a single computer. There is a single computer terminal in the room. The room appears undamaged from any fighting, um, and the computer is on. Cool. Uh, I believe operates my first port of call because even if I have to defeat security, that's like the roll after kind of thing. Mhm. Mm uh, here's my operate. It's not good. Yeah, even if it's a level six computer, it still passes, unless it's alien. That's that's a no, guaranteed it's success. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's not a guaranteed success. Um, the, when it's uh, sixty over, <laughs> the computer's a level four computer. Yep. And it has got a security pro and it has got a security program on it, a level three security program on it. Mhm. Mm so what do you want to do? And so that was your action, okay? Because running in and, and doing that, that's that's you know, we're, we're talking seconds of. Of action, okay? Yep. Yeah? Okay, yep. good. So end your turn, please. Uh, this robot moves forward and attacks with his vacuum. This is gonna suck. Trash cannon. <laughs> and 
Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. That was damning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and misses. Misses you. Does not connect. Did it leave a shadow behind? Uh -huh. This one, this maintenance robot comes out and attacks you as well. A third one. A third one. A third one. This maintenance robot uh, happens to have a, la a, a, a less soldering iron and two mechanical arms. Wait, uh, iron? Yeah, less soldering iron. Soldering. Soldering on. Soldering on. Soldering on. Soldering is its third. It misses. This one wanders out towards uh, Voke. Why are there so many of you? Make, doesn't quite make Voke. really need EMP grenades. I know, I just thought of that. That, that would be great. Robot shoots at Jazz. Oh, there's another security robot. Oh boy. And misses you. Hey Cat, you might want to hurry up. Mm -hmm. uh, Doc, you're lying on the... You, you are... Semi you are semi-conscious on the ground. Actually, um, I had a skin suit, so... But I, oh, I went down like I was shot, so I'm gonna... Well, did you have the... The suit... Skin suit won't protect you from laser. Yeah, skin suits okay, are from inertia. You, so you're at, so you, you, you're at zero, so you can do one... One action. And then and take a minus one... Uh, and, ta and you'll take a, a, a one point of... Ex one semi-minute point of exhaustion. That... One action could be first aid. Hint, hint. Okay, or you could stab well. yourself with a state of. Or you stab yourself with a state of, yeah. <laughs> Get yourself into the freeze field. <laughs> yeah, put yourself in a freeze field. Yeah, no, you can't do that. It takes five rounds to activate a freeze field. Huh. So that's your apply drugs? Yep. Yep. Okay, you are successfully applying a, a first aid bio court to yourself. Is that what you were doing? Yeah. Giving don't yourself bleed out. Ten, giving yourself ten points of damage, and you lose one for the exertion. So you so you should be at nine stamina. Well, this yep. is uh, this is not good. Very not good. Okay. All right. What's the blast radius of a fragmentation grenade? Uh, three, two, three meters. All right, we're gonna aim for the for that guy. Which guy? The one that's at the red arrow. Can you throw that far? That's not that far. It's Range ten is meters. five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 10 meters. I might. Jazz, you might want to shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> do these doors shut, by the way, or do they look like they're like glass? No, they can shut. No, no, this looks completely undamaged, this building. Comple uh, unlike the other buildings, this one looks completely undamaged. Alright, I think that's medium range. Mm hmm. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'll tell you what, you're, you're, you're probably aiming for the best one, because if, if you scatter right, you might hit somebody else. Well, I want to aim, well, aim for the one in the middle. If it goes left, it hits the one yes, exactly. on the left. If it goes right, it hopefully misses Jad. Exactly. exactly. Uh, all right, let's see here. Of course, if you throw like we do, 
I'm gonna miss yeah. them all and go right through the door into the computer shed. Should just be dexterity, right? It's a no. It's exactly throwing weapon skill. If you don't have throwing weapon skill, it, well, you've, you've used it unskilled, which means you use half your dexterity, uh, or yeah, half your dexterity to throw it. Okay. Sure. My God, is that a hit? <laughs> that it's a it no, it's unfortunate, but it was a low. It was a low roll. Okay, so it scatters. Give me a roll me D eight for scatter, please. An eight. It's going to scatter, and it scatters. Uh, it's going to get that security. It's going to get that security bot. Yes. Well. Eh. And Jazz is outside the blast radius. Yes! I did it, guys! Well thrown, man. Well thrown. Well thrown. So, what type of grenade was it? Fragmentation grenade. Well, roll me the dice. Fragmentation grenade, 8d10. No. Uh, and I get a reaction speed check to try and avoid it for half. That's not bad damage. Out of eight. I am not successful in in uh, halving that, so I take all 55 points. Of course, the albedo suit does not protect against that. Uh, so that robot is well and truly damaged. You're not dead, are you? You're not dead, just damaged. Badly damaged? Damaged. When you finish, can you... Uh, <laughs> can you... Uh, um, End your turn on the combat tracker, please. Yup. Oh, you're moving away as well, are we? How far did we move? Uh, we moved uh, 6.25 meters. <laughs> Six meters, in other words. Yup. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Away from everyone else. Oops, that's what I want to do. I have a feeling they're going to shoot the guy who just threw a grenade. Of course I'm going to throw a grenade. The guy just threw a grenade. Yeah, and yeah. you're going to come and you smack me with all those shovels. So, yeah, I'm backing up. Oh, I missed, I missed you with my laser shot. I'm not very good with my... This, this, these security robots aren't very good. Yeah, there are no Sathar training box. No. Rumble, good news, rumble, if rumble, you group rumble, up rumble. again, I got three more grenades. That's a little bit fast there, buddy. Slow down. That's what robots can move. I wonder why it's doing that. Let's try that again. All right, no, I don't want you to try again. That's a lovely miss. 79. Yeah, interesting. No, that's a miss. Don't worry. Um, Does he have a shovel? No, no, that's number. T no, that's the second one. He's got a huge drill. Oh, good. <laughs> Is it spinning? Yes. Oh, even better. Hey, cat, you really should hurry up. And jazz, that one, that one's got a rock crusher. Uh, oh. Dodging help. This is what. Because Jazz moved in. He's dodging. He's moving, dodging. I know. What's he doing? Cerise, I, I think you got the best uh, heavy-duty bot of all. That's a miss as well. That's a miss as well. <laughs> and just to round things out, the last maintenance bot. <sighs> a fifth. Oh, my God. Uh, gets to about there before he stops. And that's the end of turn. So, uh, I'll get initiative of everybody, please. Babu, you could take one for the team. You know, you know, this, you know I this, think you know, I am. I mean, I got, I got a few more where that came from, and they just so happen to love. Drop a couple grenades and run away. 
So, Cerise, uh, that's an 11 for you, is it, Cerise? Yes. And 10, no, 6 for Babu. Where's Babu? There you are. Yeah. 6 for Babu. Oh, God. Yeah. I've, I've, got a very I've got a very large combat tracker here. <laughs> 6 for Babu, 12 for Jazz. Uh, 11 for Vogue, is that right? Yep. Are you able to put those in there for you, Matt? Uh, no, I don't think you can at the moment. I've tried. No. I won't drag and drop. I've got to do them manually. It's one of the things I've got to work on, and of course I haven't had to work on stuff because guess what? I've been in hospital. Or recovering. Oh, or, yeah. you know. <laughs> I just think it would be easier to help you if we could, but okay. Oh, I'll be right. But you can't. I wish you, I wish you could. I'm, it's, one of the things I'm, it's one of the things I want to get working on because it will make things a lot easier. Uh, Doc, what do you want? Where's your initiative? Oh, there you are, 13. 13. Got it. Now I've got to do all the. Now I've got to do all the all the all the uh, robots. <laughs> uh, so, heavy duty bots. Uh, the one that activated them. I didn't activate them. You activated them. You activated them by one of the, by one of your actions. Walking. Something like that. Uh, the five maintenance bots. Are at And the four security bots are at <laughs> Can you see these numbers on those bots? I can't. I can't either. Right. You, you, you can just see the order they're in, right? No. No. Nope. Can't see that either. Okay. Uh, see, you've you've set us up so that we're in order, but after that, all the uh, reds are all in. Oh, that looks like alphabetical order. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know if I'd be has an option to show us or not show us the current order. Oh, uh, the main, oh, that's the main, that's what I'm trying. Anyway, so you're ready to get started? Everybody ready? Yeah. 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 Okay. Heavy duty three, which was that one who was attacking Jazz. The That's Jazz. The rock rocker. Misses. Actually, critically misses. Hang on. Okay. Right, he's going so. last. He's going last. Uh, last next turn. I will be right Pedro. back. Pedro. Disconnected. Just error. That's nice. That connected. Teams. All right, there we finally. Channel I switched. Do, and, and people can probably tell me how much I can accomplish because I'm not sure about the action economy. Um, so, Jazz wants to pull out a Sonic Sword, uh, take a swing. One action. And okay. Um, okay. Pull um, it out and swing. If you want, if you want to, if you want to draw and hit him at the same time, um, there will be a penalty mm -hmm. on you for hit roll. Okay. Um, and then, how does melee uh, defense work? There's a... Uh, well, you, you can either attack a, or you can defend. Okay, so I cannot attack while doing a defense. So there's no defensive attack, basically. No, there's no defensive attack. Well, the okay. defensive attack means you don't get to attack, no. Gotcha. All right, so let's... Uh, okay, let's pull out the sword. 
um, yeah. and then just 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 defend for this turn. So you you, you pure defense. Is uh, anyone else hear how that, it, people's it, it, voices are glitching? Yeah, yeah exactly. there's. I hear that with your voice, but nobody else's voice. Um, Jazz, that yeah. rock crusher, that rock crusher is going to go last at the end of next round and has already had its action this round. Do you still want to go full oh, defensive? Okay, yeah, I think that's that's right. Okay, so no, okay, we'll pull it out and then we'll attack. Right, so you're swinging at this, your sonic sword at the at the uh, at yeah, the rock crusher. Right, well, that's your life, mate. Well, that's a hit. That's a hit. Oh. That's a hit. Um, that's a hit. That's a hit. Right. What? Uh, I'm just going to try to battle it. Which doesn't work. Okay. It doesn't work. Would have been helpful. Um, so you've done 38 points of damage to the rock crusher. I get the three messes. It's, it's barely a scratch. Yeah, it's got 500 stamina points. Well, it's got a heavy duty body, you knew that. Yeah. So, uh, end your turn when you're ready, please. Wait, did you just say 500? Yep. Yep. Oh. Heavy duty bots. They're heavy, heavy duty bots. Uh, heavy duty attacking, attacking Babu. This is Babu. The lucky Babu. What? He's got attack to attack me? No, he's got, no, mate, he's still attacking. Okay, okay. So, Tolerit. Uh, now he's open, I believe. With a roll, with that roll. Usually it's the second turn we deactivate it, right? And it's the second turn you deactivate it, correct. So, because I got done last turn and then my action was to take the panel off this turn. No, the action, no, you got to the last turn and that was it. Because I only used my move. I didn't use my yeah, action. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, to get to the robot, you know, that's, you get to get out of the, you get to get past all the stuff in the baggage garage to get out to the robot. That was your action. Okay. All right. Panel off this time. All right, which you are successful at. Um, so you can flip him off, you can flip him off next round. Uh, when you finish, you, when you finish your turn, you have, you have advanced your ship. All right. Um, what are you doing? I'm gonna draw my four sats and I'm gonna go defensive with it. Okay. You're not gonna attack it? Nope. I'm gonna try to keep myself alive as long as possible. Okay. When you finish, so you gain full defensive. That's fine. Flip your uh, flip. There you go. And it attacks you. Swings its Drill at you. Um, full defensive. How much is that? That's plus twenty, I believe. Um, what is it? What is the penalty for disengaging melee in this game? Uh, depends how you do it. Because <laughs> um, it really it feels like we should be disengaging and looking for heavy weaponry. Because we're not going to survive. A standard fight. <laughs> well, so Reese needs to get the robot that's attacking him, then he can get the weapon. Oh, here it is. Uh, prone. Melee target mm -hmm. defending is plus 15. Thank you. Looking for? Wow, uh, that's not a lot. 15%? Uh, that's plus 3. Uh, that's enough to make him miss you. Uh, HD2 swings at Vogue. No, sorry. Uh, HD2 uh, swings at Cerise, I should say. Yeah, I just got my beat. Yeah, no, sure. Crazy, you almost crazy. drilled me a new. Uh, 
you, you manage to, Cerise, you manage to duck out of the way of the scoop as it swings towards your head. Security bot four, which is the one that took the damage. Um, yep, that one. Are you sure you don't want to shoot the guy that just blew you up? Shoots at Jazz. Jazz has got some cover. Not that good enough cover, you don't. Did you have to be there, screen Jazz? Yep. Uh, 58 points of damage. Okay. Maintenance one. Hope these things run Swings out of power it. soon. <laughs> it's round two. <laughs> Jazz, you get hit with um, the skin suit changeable. Um, you mean Babu? Babu, sorry. Gets hit for a total of 10 points. But the uh, skin suit was absorbed. Yeah, skin suit will absorb that. We'll absorb half it, yeah. Five. As per, as per normal, correct. Yeah, right, okay. Okay. You also get swung at and missed by uh, maintenance four. Maintenance five, on the other hand. Is the one coming after Vote? Uh, Vote gets missed. Security robot three shoots at Vote. And hits Vote. You got uh, anything, an albedo screen or anything, Vote? I believe he's and AFK he's at the moment. He's AFK! I think the answer is yes. Point. He's on his way back. I'm back. Uh, yeah, I have my albedo screen on. Right, so you take four, uh, you, uh, you, um, the, you lose six points of energy and take no damage. Cat, you're up. All right. So she's going to bypass security. If she fails this, it's done. It's toast. We're all dead. Let's hope. You're dead. You're Let's surrounded in a shed. Uh, I think I am less dead than Babu Voak. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? I could, I could just run north out of the gate. All right, it's a level, it's a level, it's a level three, it's a level four computer, and a level three bo uh, security is a bypass. Yeah, I believe that means I'm software. at a, a th thirty percent below. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. All right, my my usual roll is seventy nine. So what is that? That's a fifty fifty roll on all of our fates. Forty nine. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Uh, all right, I'm gonna let these dice go. Fuck you. Oh, so close. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, you are not successful in, you are not successful in, in uh, uh, whichever one you tried to do. Which one did you try, which did you try to use then? Bypass. Okay, what's the other one? There's another security one that you can do, can't there? Defeat. Defeat will take far too long. Everyone will yeah, be dead oh. by the time I've defeated the security. Oh, well. Yep, cool. Is that cool your turn story. gone? Yeah, that's my turn gone. Well, end your turn. Security robot one, which is this one here, aims at Bab uh, aims at Voke. Yeah. Hits Voke. Are you sure you didn't hit the big fire? bot right in front of you? No. Hits Voke for a total of thirty-five points, which is uh, seven. seven. Hmm. 
They do. Am I able to run around those robots and into the barracks? Uh, yeah, the barracks won't hold them out though, and you will take opportunities. You will take opportunity hits um, as you disengage. Okay. Question on screens. Yeah. I have both an inertial and an abdato. My abdato's on right now. You can't use one. You only use one at a time. Right. But can I switch that abdato off and turn the inertial on? Yeah, that will be your action. That will be an a move equivalent action for yep. you though. That's fine. Okay. Is that what you want to do? That's what I want to do. Okay. You better hope that you better hope the security bots don't start shooting you. Pregnant three. Was that the only thing Babs could do? Uh we've got another move equivalent if he wants to use it. Uh, missed. Security 2, which was that one, takes a pot shot at Voke, close as we can. I don't have to move to do it. And I hit. And you take 42 points of damage, or nine SEU worth of. Yeah, uh, my belt pack ain't last in this long. Ain't gonna last this far. <laughs> then you better start thinking about what you're gonna do about it. Uh, and finally, uh, heavy duty three, which is no, no, he's, no. That's sorry, that's he's had his go. That's why I put him at the end of the list, didn't I? Okay, so that's end of round. Whoops, that's end of round. Uh, can I get initiatives off everybody, please? I rolled twice again, sorry. Well, you're holding your own at the moment. You haven't taken that much damage at the moment. At the moment. So, Cerise of the Nine? Yes. Babu with oh. a 12. Um, Jazz with an 8. Cat with a 7. HD3 with a 1. Doc 13 with a 13 and Voke with a 13 as well. Okay, the two heavy duty bots 11 and 12. The five security bots. Uh, 12, 12, 8, 10, and 10, and the four security bots, uh, 15, 9, 12, and 14. So, security one. Sorry, vote, but you're a target. Yeah. Um. Hit you. For 30 points. Security four, which was the one coming, no, one shooting at Jazz. Uh, Mrs. Jazz. Uh, 
Doc. Playing dead, baby. <laughs> it's probably anything keeping you alive at the moment. No. Hey, couldn't you switch over to your albedo screen while you're on the ground? I don't have one. That's an issue. Uh, yeah, okay. Um. So, the maintenance bot's only got 100, 100 stamina. Great. Fantastic. That's... Just so I tell you. Huh. Well, I would love just to, you know, like, teleport away and drop a grenade at my feet, but I can't do that. I am very okay. Um, Come on, quickly! What are you doing? All right, I'm gonna spot? smack the maintenance bot. Which one? The maintenance one right next to me with the force at. Yep, go to life. That's a hard no. That's a hard no. Sorry, mate. Babu, what are you doing? What's the blast radius of a frag grenade? Uh, three meter radius. That's a two meter square. The radius. You drop it cover, at your feet. You'll cover basically the nine the nine squares. So if I just pull the pin and drop, drop it. Drop it. Yeah, yeah, but you'll you'll be in the range as well. Yeah, with a skin suit and a inertial screen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm not. Yeah. Okay. You can probably. Pull the pin on more than one. Ah, well, we'll see how I stand up after one. Think about the economics of that decision, though. It's a bad trade. Even though you're taking a quarter damage, they have five times the hit points of you. So those are maintenance bots. They have 100. So the none of them are heavy. Oh, okay. Yeah. None of them are heavy. Yeah, okay. Yep. That's, that's better. It. Yep. Better. Might cool. as well do. So might as well do two. You're not going to kill them with one. Yeah. You, you can do don't two kill them. There's no point in it, or there's limited point in it. And what are you going to take? Sixteen times five point five. Quartered. On average. Quartered. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See how it goes. So four right. on five point five, basically. Yo. Now, do I have to roll the hit since I'm just dropping them right there? Uh, yeah, it's point blank range. I want to see how far it bounces. If it bounces. All right. That's a gutsy, gutsy move. <laughs> and is that two throws for each grenade? Yeah. yeah one yep, for each. Please. Yes, please. I wouldn't mind if it bounces over my way. Yay. Maybe it'll yeah, bounce away do. from behind them. That's a critical that file. Okay, yeah, you can't throw grenades. No, 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 you got that wrong. I can't drop a grenade. Uh, <laughs> yeah, roll, me two D, roll, me, roll me 2d8s, please, mate. Two single 1d8s. Thank you. You throw one of them over your head back towards me. I don't know where they, <laughs> they bounce to. Uh, so one lands. Hang on. There. And the other one lands on that robot. Okay. Could have gone worse. So those two robots are, de de are definitely in, in in range. These the these two are not. Okay. Alright. Now do you so want eight? I want guy ten twice 
or no, you want eight, eight, ten, sixteen four times. die ten. No, an eight die ten four times. Did the critical fail like super explode? No. We need him to be alive, you know. You do get reaction <laughs> speed tests. Because Bad was known for his reaction speed. And because you critically failed, you don't get a reaction speed check, Bad. The good news is that neither did the, the robot, robots didn't make theirs. So that's a second, so 33 and 48. It did roughly average. Two more, please, mate. Forty one, thirty five. All right, so forty eight and thirty three is eighty ninety one, eighty one, eighty one. Sorry, so damaged. Uh, and 41 and 35 is 76, also damaged. Now I need you to roll four. I need you to roll um, uh, two lots of 8d10 for yourself, please. Did you do four grenades? No, you drew two grenades. Individual damage for each bot he hit. That's right. So you take... Wow. Uh, Rolls high on himself. <laughs> Ain't I great, man. Okay, so you take 106 points of damage. Now, the, uh, the inertia screen will take half of that. That's 26.5. Uh, no, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's, uh, it's 53. So the inertia screen takes 53 points. How m uh, So how many points per... How many energy units per so point? Uh, mate? One energy per point, right? No, is it? Inertia? Inertia. I didn't think it was. No, it inertia was. is just per hit. It's two SEU per hit. Okay, so that's 100? Hang it's on. two SEU. It takes two SEU off the oh. inertia screen. It's flat two SEU, that's it. Just two. Oh, okay. Every time you're hit, it takes two. It's two. So actually four because you took two grenades. Yep, that's right. So you take four SEU. Okay. So the 53 points that get through the screen, 26... 27 of it of goes to, to the, the skin suit, and 26 goes to you. All right. Okay, so, that's it. so you've, taken, you've taken 27 points. 26 points. Okay. And when you're ready, end, end, end your turn, please. All right. All on count 12. Most of the other robots go. Uh, Boak, you're getting swung at by the heavy-duty bot in front of you. Yeah. And you get hit. With the drill, I think it is, for 35 points. Is it a drill for you, or is it something else? Can't remember. It's a drill. It's the drill. Okay. So, uh, skin suit will protect you against some of that. Uh, maintenance one. Now, maintenance one was on our friendly boy gets missed. Uh, maintenance two. Is also on the same boy who also gets missed. Security three was the one shooting at Voke. Yeah, I get three shots. 
and you get shot. I think that's too many dice. Yeah, it was. Uh, for 58 points. Uh, one swings at Cerise. He can give you one swings at swings at Cerise. Uh, and will potentially hit Cerise if Cerise is very unlucky. Hits Cerise for 36 points. You still up, Cerise? Yep. Mate, uh, suit. Full. Ah, you got the suit. Okay. That's all right. As long as you've got, as long as you're still active. Uh, maintenance four. Bob. Bob. <laughs> Babu. Babu. Yeah. You get hit for. You, you take four points. The suit takes four points, and the and the screen takes uh, two energy units. Uh, you take, hang on, uh, the screen takes two units, the suit takes five points, and you take, no, the suit takes three points, and you take two points. Cerise, now before you do what you want to do, okay, now yeah. that you've got the panel off, there is some sort of obvious secondary slave system wired in. What does that mean? Meaning it's well, controlled. Well, going to know. So does that mean that it's controlled by an offsite Somebody thing, else. or yeah. that I can turn them all off with one switch, or? Or, or possibly, or, or the middle ground between those two is that um, this may, th th this the, the 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 three heavy duty bots may be slaved together. Okay, is there? It sounds it sounds like Cerise might know more, gather more from this than what I do, but yeah, yeah. So th you've got so Cerise. Uh, with, I mean, this is uh, again stress of combat and all the rest of it, but. There are three possibilities. It's a slave circuit to something um, similar to a computer system, right? Or all the robots are slaved together, or all the heavy duty robots are slaved together. They're your three options. Okay, so there's no reason not to turn it off. No, but it's not just turning it off. It's 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 a, it's a, if if you want to turn, if you just want to flip the switch, it's going you'll turn this robot, shut this robot down. Right. If you want to take advantage of the slave circuit, um, it's a, an extra it's an extra twenty percent penalty. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely do the slave circuit. Still a robotics okay. activate deactivate. Yes, but it's a twenty percent penalty, as I said. Okay. I'm just gonna roll, and we'll do that. Yay. Oh, okay. Minus sixty. Yeah, sixty. Okay. Um, the three heavy duty robots um, shut down. Jazz breathes and a I sigh of relief. <laughs> and I uh, yell out, "Retreat to the garage! Get in one of the explorers!" Uh, security two. Um, which was this one here, uh, sees that you have uh, um, disabled some of its comrades and so shoots at you. Um, I imagine I have some cover. Uh, from the right, from the, well, yeah, sort of. Um, and, but misses, so don't worry about it. Jazz, what would you like to do, Jazz? Uh, jazz will delay to allow the cat. Okay. Basically, expecting Act. Cat to run off. Yeah. 
Okay, well in that case, end your turn please, and I'll come back to you. Oh, sorry, don't worry, I got it. Security two's already gone. Maintenance three swings at uh, Vok and misses. Cat, you are up. All right, she would be. Uh, so over the comms, she heard Cerise say, "Retreat to the garage." Retreat. I've just yep. just that. No That's disabled heavy robots? No, just retreat to the garage. Get one of the explorers. Run! Well, Jess also goes, run! Get out, yep. run. Okay, uh, so all Cat would know is that there's a heavy robot at the door, and she doesn't know it's disabled. So I guess she... No, but, but, but uh, Jess could have told you that, but he delayed. Yep. Uh, so... She would be going up to the door to see what's going on. Uh, but does it look like it's slumped over, powered down? Yes, it does. So if you move up to the door... Yeah. So what is that? Um, I've moved one, heavy three... Two, yep. Yeah, three meters. Whatever. Yep. Um, the, the, you can see a security robot um, outside with a laser rifle firing at you. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, you can see uh, the heavy-duty robot in front of the doorway, basically not blocking the doorway, but providing some cover um, for you uh, and disabled. Uh, you can see um, Babu surrounded by maintenance robots, some of which are damaged. You can see another security robot shooting at Vogue, uh, who's also engaged with a disabled um, heavy-duty robot and a single maintenance spot. And the last you can see Doc lying on the ground up near the gates and a security robot four metres away shooting at um, somebody behind the corner of the building you can't quite see who you suspect would be Cerise because that's where it's over towards the maintenance garage. I don't think your yep. line of sight clips that building enough. And that's your turn, basically. Yep, cool. Uh, so, Jay? That, that's one move. That's one move, right? Do you move your second action? No, that's his action. Second? That's his action. What's you? What are you doing? Oh. All right. Uh, if if I had known that the heavy robot was disabled, I probably could have made a run for it. But I don't think I I couldn't play that I already knew about that. I think that would be dodgy. No, no, <laughs> you, that's why I would have I would have vetoed that. <laughs> so what are you doing, Jazz? All right. So Jazz will move out. So we'll move out to, to the middle there. Um, God, I wish I had some opportunity shots. Sorry? I wish I had some opportunity. I wish I had ah. some opportunity <laughs> shots. I'd shoot the hell out of you. Um, so he'll move out there in a dodging manner. Yes. Um, and then... Uh, Ducking and weaving, are we? Ducking and weaving. <laughs> um, and then pull out um, an uh, electro step. And what are you doing with your psionic sword? Um, can you just put it away? Uh, or is yeah, that an okay. action? Give me, yeah, it's a, well, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a compound action. Give me a reaction speed check, please. Okay. If you make it, you're okay. If you don't, you drop it. Yeah, it's fine. Not a problem. So yes, right. you have an electro stunner out, and you're in the middle of between three security robots, all with laser rifles. Huh. One yep. of them doesn't know you're coming, though, yet. Uh, and end your turn when you're ready, please. Yep. And that's the end of turn. So I'm going to wipe that, put that on turn four. And if you guys can give me an issue, that would be fantastic. Thank you. <gasps> and I'll let him go. Can I get an intuition or a logic, end or a logic roll off you, please, Cerise? Whichever is highest, your choice. One moment.
you know, so certain dog was going nuts. <laughs> and I need an initiative off your two police and rest. Uh, off your two police arrest. Uh, I did before the round. Before you clicked the round. It's 13. Oh, 13. I didn't see it. It's okay. Careful aim. Okay. I'm a little confused by careful aim still. You can take careful Why aim. You, you, if you move, you can still take careful aim, but you no. can only do rate of fire one. No. no, you can't move and take careful aim. Careful aim is a move equivalent action. Okay, and it's still rate of fire one? And you only, and you only take one shot, yes. Basically, you're being a sniper is what you're doing. Right. Okay. You take one, one shot, shot standing still. Yeah. But you can still use your scope. You can use a scope. Yes, you can still use a scope. You can't use burst fire with a scope. Right. And the heavy duty robots do provide cover. If you are right next to them. Okay. So, um... We rolled high this time, mostly. And the security box. Looks like you might get away with this. Um, you might get away with this, Jazz. <laughs> I'm not particularly, particularly low for the security bots. Okay, so we ready to get going? Cat, you're up. All right. Uh, so this this heavy robot. How much room is there for me to run past it? Well, you can run past it. Cool, because with her, with and this guy here, is that a maintenance spot, not a security bot? That's a maintenance spot. Yeah, that's a maintenance spot. All right, because she has that a run. Of... Oh yeah. I was just saying, the security bots are the ones that are not in melee combat, because they have laser yep. rifles. Yep. Gotcha. Because uh, she's got to run a thirty. She was planning to full leg it. Go for uh, it. And if she can, if she can run past this heavy robot, then she's going to go for it. So what we got two meter squares. That's a two. That's six. If you pass, if, if you pass, if you pass within two meters of an enemy ro an enemy active robot, you will take an attack of opportunity. Is that different when I'm walking or running? Um. No, that's standard. Uh, yeah, well, uh, I was saying... A, a melee attack of opportunity, not a ranged attack. Yeah, melee attack of opportunity. Yeah, okay. So, 15 squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12. So, I think I can get to... Not a good place that has cover. Because uh, I can get yeah. I, if I if I got here, I would have to run past this guy. So that's yep. bad. Uh, that's probably the best I'm gonna do. Okay. Uh, well, that won't give you cover. Nah. Uh, from anyone, because you've got your back to people. Yep. 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 That's fine. Okay. Is that where you're uh, going? Yeah. I mean, I to go this way. Uh, why I don't you just go? Why don't, why don't you just go south of the heavy duty robot? Can't get round. Like you can't get round. Because of the main it, spot. Yeah. If if I went there, I'd take an attack of opportunity. No, the security. Oh well, we don't know. Is a security bot? Does it look like it's wielding any melee weapons or just ranged weapons? Uh, ranged weapons, but it'll t you'll still take. You'll still take an attack. 
It still has arms. arms. Ah, okay. I'll take the attack. But you've got an albedo screen, so if you're out in the middle of, and the security guys shoot you, that's no big deal. Yeah. Until you actually, ran, if you run, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I haven't taken any shots yet, so I should be pretty good. Oh, I'm gonna mm. go there because <laughs> I'm going to. I've seen the dock down, and I will be trying to run past and picking him up and telling him what the plan is, or carrying him. Hopefully not. Okay. So you're 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 typical. doing the, you're doing the rescue. You're doing yep. the rescue, are you? Okay. Well, it, it, if she was running that way, she would see the dock down, so she yes. wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're so. Be able to pick him up. No, but <laughs> she's gonna try. Because <laughs> well, you know, dead, you know what's grab someone anyway. and, you, you know, grab you always grab someone and drag them. You don't have yeah. to pick them up; you can drag them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so maintenance, uh, the maintenance bot swings at you, Babu, and misses. Okay. Vote, what are you doing? Now that now that the heavy duty bot is deactivated for somehow. For yeah, some I'm uh, I'm gonna go to an explorer. It, it now provides you with cover. Yeah, I'm going to an explorer. Hey, I, I'm running into the garage into one of the explorers. Okay. You, you know, can uh, you know smack me if you want. I am booking. You, know, you, know, you, well, you can you know they're unarmed. Hang on, hang on. You know the explorers are unarmed, don't you? I think so. I saw them. Right. And you know that they're while they are a heavy-duty vehicle, they're not what you would call armoured. True. Right. Just they're just laying out for everybody. They're not tanks. They're a, they're a heavy-duty four-wheel drive. But it's going to drive through a wire fence. It'll drive through a white fence. It's not going to take heavy laser fire, but that's not what, what we're going to need it for. <laughs> for you, running away. Plan. It's going to be a punch it, Chewy, and then we're going <laughs> to... Yeah, yeah, so, uh, okay, let's see. If that's what, if that's but, what you're doing, that's fine. Me, uh, but that's, you, you're that's not going to be able to hole up there and, like, make your last stand in the Explorer. It's not going to last. Yeah, Volk, oh, can I... I'll take an opportunity attack, but can I run into the driver's seat of one of the explorers, or the only it's Yeah, sure, of course you can. Sorry. Hang on, hang on. There's three explorers. Oh, there's three? And two drivers. That's, alright, big cars. Yeah, they're big four-wheel drive. I'm going to take the one up top. Well, that's that's the one. Yeah, okay. I wouldn't have, but that's it. Okay, and you want to? Uh, so, can you run that far? Twelve and a half. So one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. I... Okay. What? Um, you do take an attack of opportunity for fourteen points. These are two meter squares. Yeah, I know. So, the, the, you know, explorers. Um, you, you know, um, anyone seen the um, anyone seen the um, vehicle in Aliens that they that the mining family were driving in the extended edition of the Aliens film? Yep. Right. Anyone anyone seen that really heavy duty um, six wheel drive um, uh, uh, RV that? The South Africans make the one that's the one that's um, practically an armored car, but not quite. That's what explorers are like. Those things, okay? They got four wheels. They're independently each wheel's independently independently powered, and they're raised up, you know, above the axle, so they've got plenty of ground clearance. So, as I said, heavy heavy duty four wheel drive. Like a mog truck. Have you ever seen a mog truck for, the, for those in the army? I think you know I'm talking about, Babu. Yep. Two and a half ton. Yeah, two and a half ton truck. That's what they're like. Uh, heavy, one of, heavy duty one of those. So you you've got that far. You'll, uh, it'll take you around to get inside. Uh, so you can get inside next round, okay? Yep. Vote. All right. So when you finish, end your turn. Sweet. 
Something is nagging at the back of your mind and you don't know what it is. Yep. Um, I love you, Babu, but you're the perfect target. <laughs> well, at least you have a grenade launcher, right? What could go wrong? It is short range, careful aim, and um, yeah, grenade is launcher. It short, right is it short range? Baby. It's short a grenade, grenade launcher. launcher. Yeah, they it goes poof, goes yeah, far. I know how they work. I've actually used one. I'm asking if that's the range. It is actually short range. Wow. Yes. Okay. Well done. There's no there's no point blank on it. And then no, I not. believe I get my gyro jet weapon attack with that. Yes, you do. It is, a, it is technically a gyro jet weapon. Fifty-four. It's going to scatter. Can I get a D8 roll? Uh, it scatters long. So it's going to land. It's only short range. So it's not going to go far. It's going to land about there. So it's still going to get Babu and those two robots. What type of grenade was it? Frag, so eight okay. d ten. So roll me, roll me three lots of eight, th three, three lots of um, eight d ten, and the last one is baboos. And babu, you might want to give me a reaction speed check, mate. Why is it the high ones always on? Always on babu. And here's Babu. So, the first one... Hang on. What? Well, I don't know why I was... Oh. I was thinking two sets, sorry. No, you no, only no, need no. the first three. You only need the first three. Okay, so, 46, and the the robot actually made its um, reaction speed check, so it only took half that, which was 23, but that's enough to kill it, because it was the one that was wounded already. And that, luckily, is maintenance spot uh, two which is that one. It's gone. Okay. Uh, the next one got 47 damage points, didn't make its reaction speed check, and so takes all 47 points. That's that one there. On the thing. Uh, and then Babu takes 54 points, doesn't make his reaction speed check. Uh, so the skin suit takes t the sorry the screen takes two SEU. The skin suit that we're leaving twenty seven points remaining, which means the suit takes uh, fourteen and you take thirteen points of damage. Babs, does that make sense to everybody? That's what I got. Yep, you got. Okay. And if that's your only action, Cerise? Yep. Okay. Two maintenance spots on Babu. A miss. And a miss. And the maintenance spot. Oh no, he ran. Uh, the maintenance spot that um, has a go at uh, our good computer specialist, and hits and does eight points of damage with a drill. Cool. Just like a dentist. Just like a dentist. Jazz. All right, Jazz is going to move six squares. Five, six. Yeah, move six squares up there in a dodging mm -hmm. manner. Yes. Um, and then shoot his electro stunner at the maintenance spot um, up and to the left of Babu. That one behind him. That one looks very, oh, very yes. damaged, that maintenance spot. Yeah, the one that looks damaged. Okay. Yes, you may do that. 
Um, I think that's after a hit with your penalty. Yes, it is. 14 points. That's enough to take that bot out. Uh, that was four. Yeah, that was four. Okay, S mm, security bot one is going to take a pot shot at you. And hits. Uh, for a total of 44 points. Security bot two uh, is also going to try. Is going to take a shot at you. Uh, misses. Babu. Babu is following Sharifa's orders and GTFO. However, okay, where you? We, what I'm going to run up and grab uh, Doc as well. All right, can you, get, can you run, run that far? I can run 30. Okay. And that's like, what, two, four, five, six, seven? And he would be eight. Two, yeah. Uh, um, you, you, you basically get to there and pick him, and, and uh, use your, your, next, your rest of your move to pick him up, basically, if that's right. what you're going to do. So a strength check to pick <laughs> him up, just to make sure. Only to find that Doc is is cautious and can run himself. <laughs> and uh, and as 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 Doc slap as Doc f um, flumps down your back, you feel a bio court jabbed into your ass. <laughs> 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 um, you're going to need it. You, you took a critical hit um, from one of the robots as you disengaged. Um, so uh, you take five points. Your suit takes five points. And you get 10 points back from the first day. <laughs> did you make your strength check, sorry? Uh, minus 33. Yes, 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 you did. Yes, you did. So that's your go. That's Pedro's go. Uh, and then security four is going to shoot at Cat. And miss. And security three is going to shoot at Cat. And hit... And take 41 points of damage. 41. Alright, 41. Yes. Okay, now listen. We are at the start of a round. Alright, it's also just gone. We've also been playing for four hours. Um, I don't know how long each round's going to be because it depends on how many actors and that are still acting and who's throwing grenades and dropping things at each other so what do we want to do do we want to call it there for the for the session or do we want to do another another combat turn which How could go for half an hour more i'm starting to feel a little bit tired yeah let's not push it i mean yeah, i would let's love to see okay. play in but well nothing's gonna uh, uh, you know everything's on uh, fantasy grounds will hold everything on everything at, at hold for us so you know the the map and everything else so um, we're up to s we're up to round five and a uh, new initiative set when we come back. So uh, thanks for playing, everyone. I enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed all that too. Thanks to those who are viewing and viewing on Twitch and on YouTube. Hope you enjoyed it and tune in next time when you're ready, Ryan. You can. Uh well, that's it for this session. We hope you've enjoyed the game as much as we did. We'd like to thank Smiteworks, Sirenscape, and Twitch. And of course, all the fantastic people involved with the Star Frontiers RPG over the years. I'm Dulux Oz, and on behalf of the entire gaming group, we'd like to say thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Until then, may your God go with you.